<sighs> hey, everybody. You can see the top of my laptop. That's great. We're doing great. We're already miles ahead. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Walk it off. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Hot Buddy Rolls Whiskey Show. Uh, we are live for day 15 of the Hot Buttery Rolls Whiskey Advent calendar extravaganza. Uh, make it a bold choice to go live after a marathon stream from uh, My Bourbon Journey and Shelf Terrors, which was great. Enjoyed watching that. And uh, just watching uh, the junkies talk about cigars. So here we go. Yeah, everybody's live tonight. We're going crazy. It's nuts. What to do, Chris and friend? <laughs> you know Josh. Don't make it weird. Yeah. I just weird. realized that I'm weird, AJ. Uh, I moved this uh, light, so I'm going to move it back because it was making me look like I was glowing. That's better, slightly. Oh, man. Hey, everybody. So, uh, Trev Wilson, what's up? Tito Dirks in the chat. Uh, Amy. Hey, Amy. How are you? Bubble Beth Bourbon. John T. Oh, what's man. up, man? Yeah, everybody's live tonight. So, uh, Josh and I are actually recalibrating our palates with some deep fried Oreos beer from uh, Martin House Brewery, Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, it's um, it's not a hot buttery roll, but damn, it's fine. If I if I'd known how good that was going to be, I would have named my my channel uh, Deep Fried Oreos Whiskey <laughs> instead of Hot Buttery Rolls Whiskey. Hot buttery deep fried Oreos. Yeah, so on the nose, it smells just like the outside of an Oreo cookie. Uh, the yep. palate, it has a little bit more of an imperial stout flavor versus being like a like a light chocolate or a cream or a fried flavor, but it's freaking tasty. So, and don't worry, I know it's a whiskey channel. We're going to get to the whiskey. We got some hitters. So, tonight's the 15th night, and uh, Josh brought over a really nice bottle, and I've got a couple that I chose out of the cabinet. Um, so 15 is a really good number for whiskey. So, uh, the best pappy I've ever had, especially this year, the 15s that have been coming out this year. Oh it's, yeah. It's amazing. Just 15, this 15, that 15, this. Yeah. which actually I wanted to talk to you about something I heard today. I don't know if it's accurate or not, but I really like to know. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's just, just a, a wealth of 15 year old whiskey has come out this year. Um, including um, one that I saw yesterday. It was a Bull Run 15-year single barrel that had come out at, um, I think it was, there was one at Sealbox and one at Off Premise in Illinois. There was one in Houston somewhere. I want to say it was a NASA. I think it was a NASA. Yes. Place. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was 150, something like that, 165, something. So, yeah. And I jumped in, my dumb ass. I'm sitting here thinking, Bull Run. That's MGP. Yeah. And so somebody was like, where's the source from? And I was yeah. like, it's MGP. No, it's not. It's from Kentucky. Mm -hmm. uh, so very interesting to see that. We'll get into that a little bit more when we get into one of these, one of these bottles. But um, we've, uh, you, if you guys can read the, uh, the title, which it just says, holy heavy hitters, Doc Swift. Uh, that's Doc Swinson's. So got ourselves a little batch seven, Doc Swinson's 15 year. Uh, that's what we're going to, jump into a little bit later but we're going to start out with the lowest proof i believe this is the lowest proof oh by two proof points it's the lowest proof so this is one of my favorite whiskeys of 2020 and uh, i'm really glad that we get to drink it tonight because it's fantastic and i'm glad josh came over because i don't like drinking it alone it seems like a it's like a special event bottle like you know you hate to um you hate to enjoy a special event bottle by yourself. It's still special, but it's kind of yeah. sad too. It's much better sharing with friends. Yeah, for sure. for sure. Especially when it's a friend sharing with me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. For a bottle that I don't have. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. All right. So I actually got your uh, your only old fits, didn't I? Um, Traded you for uh, yeah, old scout. Yeah, I had the, what was it, the 11-year? Yeah, you got that 11-year-old yep. scout pick for a... Uh, well, no, yeah, we, mine, mine was eleven year, or was mine nine? That was the eleven year. That was eleven. Yeah, was 11. yeah so we went. I think it was eleven for eleven. 11. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So uh, I'm gonna pour myself some of this up. Ah, oh, so I mentioned Pappy 15 being my favorite Pappy, 
Um, really freaking good. Um, and I will tell you that I would put this old Fitz 15 right up against it. I think that it's every bit as good as the Pappy 15. Um, I was shocked whenever I did it in my bottled and bond. It's one of my first videos that I actually published was my bottled and bond top shelf hitters. And, uh, it's still a hitter for sure. I don't know if you mentioned, but this is the uh, fall 2019 bottling. So, oh yeah, sorry. Um, this was distilled in 2004. For those of you that care, like I care, yeah. And it's rumored that this might have been distilled um, alongside of a certain Schmappy Schman Schminkel. So I don't know if that's accurate. I'm I'm not Poppy. propagating that rumor. I'm just saying I've heard that. So Trev Wilson says old Fitz is love. It is. So is Trev Wilson. Trev Wilson is love. Yeah, Trev, I will say that I'm terrified of snapping that sucker off because uh, I don't want to have to refit a cork to that beautiful glass stopper. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the first time I opened it, it was like uh, it was like comedically loud. It was almost like a freaking sound effect, like someone's running a soundboard. If you needed to record a cork pop sound, the initial cork pop on a Old Fitz is like right out there. It's like the um, what is that mic drop, and then that no, single cast drop. <laughs> that single cast nation. Um, uh, what is that one? The the whistle pig twelve year MGP that I have. It's got the glass the glass corks, and yep. every time you open it, God, it makes me nervous. You just, I just hear glass like rubbing yeah. against each other. And well, I can I can tell you that mic drop is one of the only bottles that I've almost thrown at the ground. Um, because of the, cork. because of the cork and also almost thrown on the ground accidentally <laughs> while releasing the cork. <laughs> yeah. So both, yeah. both of, uh, I can see that for sure. both of my bad experiences with mic drop were at Casey's house trying to open that Mac mic drop Mac batch yeah. two that he has Yeah, freaking nightmare. God, it smells so good. Yeah. It's so pretty. Oh, geez. What's up, bird beginnings. Welcome to the chat. So oh man. Good. So, um, Sweet, light, uh, apple, honey, mm -hmm. um, maybe just the slightest bit of pear, but it also has a really nice, well-aged maturity to it, as it should. It's 15 years old. It's um, As far as bourbons go, that's getting up there. I was actually really surprised. <clears throat> I had three bottles of 15-year that I'm aware of, and uh, might have more, but... I wasn't checking all the store picks and stuff for for labels, but really the only one that gets up that high is Knob Creek, and I did find that one. Yeah, I definitely get that apple on there. Yeah. But it's way. it's still got a really nice oily note. Yeah. Like uh, just yeah. really, really nice. And at 100 proof, it has a fantastic nose. Um, a lot of times, whenever you have a low proof, low proof. Sorry, guys. Uh, when you have a bottled and bond and you're used to drinking cask strength, sometimes the the proof can get a, a – the, the nose gets a little lost because of the proof. Mm -hmm. But, no, this is really good. Yeah, I'm ready to dive into the old uh, palate. Cheers. So sweet up front. It is. It's definitely a weeder up front. So good. And it moves into a slight nuttiness, which makes me think that it's certainly not a, it's probably not a cousin of the Pappy. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely has like a little bit, a little bit of a Heaven Hill note, like not like circus peanuts, but like a nice, really nice light nuttiness. AJ, um, it is neither, buddy. So yeah. neither, actually, Deep Snob was 13, right? 13 years old, and it's the best Knob Creek pick I've ever had. Yeah. Um, but it's 13, I think 13, six, 13 years and six months. And then um, the Longhorn that I had that was a full 15 years old, I killed that ages ago. That was such a good bottle. We put the uh, the Deep's pick. I have a Specs uh, 15 year. Uh, I want to say it was from Allen. Yeah, in Dallas. Yeah, Specs and so, Allen and uh, well, yeah, Empire is uh, Allen as well. But yeah, we put that one up against Deep's pick and Deep's pick. You know, I wouldn't say it stomped it, but it was definitely better. 
It was definitely better. Yeah, definitely a lot better. Yeah. And two years younger, so for sure. But I, you know, I don't I don't put put too much behind specs picks and total wine picks because I feel like they just hey uh, Knob Creek, send me uh send me a barrel, please. Yeah. And and also send me five barrels because I have way too many branches. Right. Yeah. I need you to I need to supply all these stores. Yeah. Just, you know, can you try to make them taste similar? Or don't don't even worry about it. Yeah, that's what I bet. Just don't even worry about it. And it's still a good, it's still a great, great bourbon for what fifty five bucks in tax, whatever it was. Yeah, uh, you know, but still, don't. Put and it's and it's fifteen steps. years old. I mean, that's yeah, it. We'll get five bucks for fifteen year old. We'll yeah, beat that. Yeah, we'll get a little further into that. So this bottle um, retail an old fits fifteen. I want to say is like one hundred and sixty to two twenty five. Um, this one specifically. <clears throat> was $149.99. Um, and that is an anomaly. That's not a thing that happens usually. Um, but that's, I guess, MSRP base. But I haven't seen any, like, ever locally. Um, they tend to be held for restaurants and friends of the ownership of the liquor store and the ownership of the liquor store, and they just don't make it to the shelves. So um, very lucky to get the ones that I have from – Good friends who hand deliver them. So Chris S says the only old fits around me is thirteen dollars, and I can't imagine it's any good. So I'm going to assume that that's the old Fitzgerald Prime. Don't don't sleep on those uh, screw caps, screw yeah. cap plastic bottles. So <laughs> so the old <laughs> fits the old fits but. Prime has that really shimmery gold label. I've got a couple of them over there on that bottom yeah, shelf, absolutely. but they're they're dusties. But uh, yeah, it's not it's not going to be anything like this, to be honest. Um, and I hate to. I hate to be the bearer of, of bad news there because I want uh, you know I want you to to have a honest expectation of what's going to happen. So for thirteen bucks, you're going to get probably somewhere between thirteen and twenty dollars worth of whiskey. Um, so it it might be a good bottom shelf hitter, um, and there's a lot of those. I I myself have uh, several bottom shelves full of whiskey that I don't mind drinking and and enjoy. And, uh, you know, you can't always open a $200, $165, uh, or a $55 bottle. Sometimes you need a, to have a $13 bottle on the shelf to, you know, get through a Saturday or, yeah. you know, whatever. I don't know what your budget is, but 13 bucks. I mean, you can't go it's too terribly wrong. Kind of hard to know? go wrong. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you got, so <clears throat> 13 bucks, 26 ounces, you're looking at 50 cents an ounce. That's a buck a shot. Try finding that at a bar. Good luck. Yeah. Certainly won't be named Old Fitz. It'll be named Kentucky Gentleman or Deluxe. Kentucky Deluxe yeah. or Kentucky Bow. And when you grab it, the bottle will kind of squeeze and it'll. <laughs> <laughs> so those are actually glass. Those are no, yeah, older no, ones. Yeah. Yeah. Older, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, so AJ says, I still have a bottle, a sealed bottle of Deeps and half of a cracked one. So damn good. Yeah, man. So actually said so damn goof. It is super goof, bro. Yeah. And then he said, "Good." So that's <laughs> super good as well. Uh, just in case, just to refresh everybody, Deeps is a it's a liquor store close to us, um, and he's talking about the Knob Creek pick. They had a thirteen year, thirteen and a half year pick. So yeah, yeah. His his liquor store is called Ollie's, and Ollie's is supported the channel by selling me awesome bourbon. Um, there's a lot of local stores that have done a really good job with me, but that one specifically is called Ollie's. It's in Lubbock, Texas, and if you're ever through there. Definitely check them out. Mm -hmm. um, great selection and uh, and honest pricing. And usually I have four or five store picks on the ground. So um, they sold out their entire Elijah Craig barrel yesterday in like an hour and 15 minutes. Was it? I so thought it was like 57 minutes, something Maybe like it was that. less than an, an hour. hour yeah. It was something that's ludicrous. Thought, yeah, yeah so that's the first barrel pick I was ever on. Uh, so I'm very excited to, to get my bottles. Bourbon beginning says I can get one. I uh, assume old fits 15 year uh, for 400. Is that too much cheapest I've seen? <sighs> I mean, to me, I'm not paying $400 for that bottle, but I mean, I, I I'm can be either. I'm in a different place than you. Maybe, maybe, you know, it's a bottle you really want and you have the 400 to spend on it. And uh, you really like that in your, uh, in your liquor cabinet. So, you know, that that's kind of, it's subjective. Um, I have a hard time paying uh, 150 plus for a bottle. I've yeah. done it a few times, uh, but you know it's subjective. But I mean, if if that's what you want, hell yeah, 
Oh yeah, damn right. You get it. <laughs> so I I agree with you a hundred percent on that. And um the only thing I will say is there's some serious mystique about that decanter. I love the way it looks on the shelf. If, be, best bottle in bourbon? Could be. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's probably the definitely the prettiest decanter. Yeah, it's prettiest. absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And the the juice inside is good. It's not a it's not a gimmick bottle. Yeah, it's no, got absolutely. good whiskey inside. It's fantastic. I'm not a I'm not a weeder guy. I typically don't. You know the OWAs, uh, Weller Antique. It's it's good, um, but I'm not I'm not hunting after them. I'm not looking for them. Even the store picks, they're good, but it's not my favorite. Uh, but this one's it's fantastic. It's really yeah. good. Get some age on those things, and and to me they're a lot better. Um, and even at 100 proof, I'm I'm you know more of a higher proof kind of guy but yeah. at 100 proof this this is really good yeah I, I mean i have zero complaints about it so well and i'll say i'll say you know to add on to what you're saying there um it is a weeder but this one specifically has quite a bit of spice to it so yeah, yeah. Um, definitely on the end it's got that it's not like a buffalo trace all honey and, and yeah. pears and apples it's yep. it's definitely got some spice to it got yeah. a little got a little um the flavor has a kick. It doesn't have heat. It doesn't, it's not ethanol strong hot, but it has definitely got some, uh, some spice to it. It's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jerry Black. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the chat. Yeah. Chris says, says kind of like uh, wild turkey 101. Just can't beat it for 23 bucks. Yep. You really can't. That, that wild turkey 101 rye is not bad either. Yep. Yeah. That's really good. That wild turkey 101 rye is exceptional. Mm -hmm. Yep. Especially for the price. Yep. <clears throat> AJ Lopez. I'm not going to read what you said at the end there, but yeah, <laughs> JW Damp Bottled and Bond is a plastic handle for 15 bucks and it's gooder. Yeah. So uh, I like JW Dance. Some people don't. I enjoy it. Um, I think that a lot of times the bottom shelf Bottled and Bonds are way underrated. Um, and, you know, if, uh, if it comes down to it and I can't buy expensive bourbon anymore, I'll be perfectly happy going with. Uh, Evan Williams bottled and bond, JW Bent. Hey, that Bant, old tub, there. old tub bottled yeah. and bond. Yeah, eighteen twenty, whatever, at twenty three bucks. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's yeah. that's really good stuff. Old Granddad bonded as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's really good. Yep. Uh, Chris says I got some one hundred dollar bottles that aren't worth thirty. Yeah, I, I think we've all been there for sure. I've got <laughs> I've got bottles that have cost me significantly more than a hundred dollars. Yeah, that I really wish I could send back. I mean, it's. <laughs> It's sometimes it's just embarrassing to yep. to open something that you paid a fortune for and yep. it's just disappointing. Uh, the Black Maple Hill little squat bottle. Um, I actually got that from Deep. Uh, first time I first time I went there, uh, he sold me a Weller Twelve, which I thought was kind of cool because I was just getting into it, and um, you know I saw the saw those on the shelf, and I just know about the old Black Maple Hill from back in the day, the nice, pretty wine-looking bottle. Um, yeah. And I tatered out a little bit and um, bought that for probably 95 bucks and uh, opened it and uh, insta-regret. Well, it's like the Hirsch, the old Hirsch versus the new Hirsch. I yeah. mean, just because it has the same name does not mean it's the same whiskey. Yep. yep. Yeah. Man, this is really good. I know. <laughs> I really love this. Thanks for sharing with me, man. It's... Uh, are you thanking me for sharing your bottle with me? Yeah. No. I'm thank, glad you're here. Thank <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's just me and the dogs. <laughs> thank you, sir, for sharing your good whiskey with me and allowing me to come on your show. It's fun. For sure. Bourbon Beginning said, I just picked up a High West American Prairie, so I think I should have grabbed two. Dude. Store pick. SP store pick or so. Oh yeah, Still I read that probably. as so. Sorry, I didn't see the tail. I uh, have it's I have old eyes. Kind of far away. Yeah. So, uh, which store pick and what's the finish? Uh, inquiring minds want to know because the regular High West American Prairie is a very easy to drink whiskey, and I think it's a fantastic beginner whiskey. I need to write that down. So, because uh, <laughs> that is, I mean, that's people always ask, you know, what's a good whiskey? Um, yeah, I really would like to get into something, and I don't want it to be like burn your face off or overly dramatic. Dude, High West American Prairie is neither aggressively hot or aggressively flavorful. American P. American P word. Mm, yeah, so uh, 
I did. You did. <laughs> but some of the American Prairie finished picks that I've had, I have one that's finished in a Boulevardier barrel, and I have one that's finished in, I want to say port or cognac. What is Boulevardier? Boulevardier is a cocktail. So they have a like a... They age a cocktail in a barrel? Yeah, barrel-aged cocktails. You've heard oh, of this? No. It's definitely a thing, huh. for sure. I'm not a cocktail guy, um, yeah. so I don't really pay much attention, but... So I don't know what the ingredients are in a Boulevardier. I wish my brother Zach was in the chat because he makes an exceptional Boulevardier. Uh, my dad loves to drink Boulevardiers, and it's um, what's the main main ingredient? What what booze is in it? Who knows? I don't know if it's Aperol or if it's um, you know I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> you know I don't speak Spanish. English. What the heck is Aperol? It called? Uh, what is an Aperol? You're saying you're saying words tonight, but no, I'm I gotta not sure Google. They, can not you sure they, uh, can you dance for a minute have, while I Google Aperol? Yeah, oh yeah, hang on. You mean it's a or? bitter aperitif made of gentian, rhubarb, and cinchona. Cinchona. Again, we're sounds gonna, made up. We're going back to sure. word salad. All right, so now, now I'm going to Google Boulevardier, and we're all going to learn together. All 13 <laughs> of us in the chat are going to learn about Boulevardiers. All right, Bourbon Beginning said total wine is a store pick, and. Uh, Fume Blanc finish, but the tag says Martini finish. Interesting. Oh, hell yeah. Huh. Nice. A little vermouth in there, maybe some olive juice. Okay, so here we go, guys. A Boulevardier is a Negroni for whiskey lovers. So I guess instead of using gin, like in a Negroni, you use whiskey. Mm. Uh, specifically, a spicy rye. Ooh, Ooh, spicy. Sounds delicious. Mm. Spicy. Oh, Campari. I'm such an idiot. I said Aperol. Oh, I yeah. meant Campari. Little, I always get those two mixed up. Campari, you know, a little uh, deep fried uh, octopus, right? You get it at yes. Johnny Greenos. Yeah. yeah. You can dip it in marinara. <laughs> Shit's delicious. <laughs> so stupid. We were talking about that one girl, Kristen Campari, that was on that one <laughs> that, reality show. You know, that thing with the stuff. So it's an ounce and a quarter of bourbon or rye, spicy rye, is how I would make it. One ounce of Campari, one ounce of sweet vermouth, and an orange twist. Hmm. So you're going to use two. You're going to use a, a sweet, savory mixer in vermouth, and then Campari is a, a bitter mixer. And so it's got an overall bitter tone. But I think that uh, the Boulevardier, I prefer to the um, to the Negroni because gin, to me, needs really light help. Like it's got to have... Um, like elderberry or some kind of tonic or citrus. And if you add the bitter mixers to it, it just becomes too aggressive for me. Don't care for it. Your mother was a hamster and your, your father, father smelled, smelled of elderberries. elderberries. <laughs> I love elderberry. What's up, Keith Schmidt? Right welcome to the uh, welcome to the chat, brother. I have some older Jefferson presidential bottles, Stitzel mm -hmm. Weller from the 80s. Holy hell. But they're great, but any Jeffersons after that is garbage. Yeah, uh, I hate Jefferson. I'm not because they make bad whiskey, but because they make mediocre whiskey and they charge and amazing price. whiskey prices. Yep. Um, I I could put a barrel of whiskey on a cattle car uh, and have it ride across the United States six times, and then sell it as hot buttery rolls. You know, cow yep. transfer. <laughs> Jefferson cow patty finished. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it smells like the ocean. You so smell, you smell like the ocean. So I always get always get Jefferson and uh Bowman mixed up. Ah. Are they're not the same, right? No. They're they don't have anything to do with each no. other, right? Okay. Jefferson's is their own and I, company and, and Bowman and is Bowman's pretty good, right? I don't think I've ever had any kind of Bowman. I mean, I know I know they have a couple of um couple of Oh. Is is are they the one associated with the old Stitzel Stitzel Weller stuff? So Bowman, Bowman's a Virginia distillery, right? And um, oh, they take um, they take Buffalo, Buffalo Trace, Trace and redistill it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, and we can fix that. By the way, we can. I've got uh, Bowman Port finished, Bowman Brothers, and John J. Bowman single barrel. Okay. And so what I'd like to do is set them up in a blind with some. Um, not the port finish because that would be really easy to guess, mm -hmm. but set them up in a blind with uh, Blanton's Elmer T. Lee and then go through and see what yeah. people think because, you know, everybody's like, well, where's the Elmer T. Lee? Where's the Blanton's? Where's the Rock Hill Farms? Well, the John J. Bowman single barrel, 100 proof, that's much more easy to find than Rock Hill Farms by like, I see 10 of those to every Rock Hill Farms I see. Yeah. And I'm not saying it's on every shelf, 
but it's on a lot more shelves than Rock Hill Farms. So yeah, just save you that Rock Hill Farms bottle and then pour it in there. And then pour every time there. you pour in a Rock Hill Farms, oh, I'm gonna drink Rock oh, Hill it's, Farms. It's like all my Blends bottle that I fill with Ancient Age. It's the same thing, <laughs> give or take. Yeah. Hmm. Wasn't that an ancient? Was that? Is there a ten? No. What did I give you? Ancient Ancient Age. Was it Ancient Ancient Age? Wasn't yeah. it like a ten star? Yeah, or something ten star. Like that? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Got that one from Herbold. Nice. Let me tell Herbold to watch this. I think Herbold have fun watching this. Yeah. He's actually where I got that fifteen year. Oh, nice. I traded him for some Dusties too. Nice. Keith Schmidt says Antica Vermouth for the win. Hundred times better than Dolan or Dolan or Rossi. Brother, the only vermouth I can get out here is Rossi. And, uh, you know, I, I I say I don't like vermouth. I might just not like cheap vermouth because that's all we got. <laughs> so um, I'm going to write that down, though, and see if I can pull um, some Antica vermouth. Um, might have to special yeah. order it from the old store, from the getting place. You mentioned something about gin earlier. Um, are you? Have you ever had any of the the – barrel aged gins or like the you know yeah. the actual good gins are those i you know i don't know that i've ever tried gin because everybody always says oh no it tastes like a christmas tree and yeah, it tastes like santa claus juniper. balls yeah yeah oh well well i might may be into it <laughs> i mean I, I don't know it's i don't judge man i just i call it like i see it but no uh the barrel aged gin so my little brother um was the bar manager at my mom's restaurant mm -hmm. and there was a lady that came in and she was talking to him, raving about this barrel aged gin that she had. And she went and got him a bottle. And I think it came from Oregon or California. And she left him the bottle and he brought the bottle for me to taste. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Really? So freaking good. Like really, really delicious. What are they aged in? Uh, like an old whiskey barrel? Yeah. I mean, it's oak barrels. Used barrel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I can't imagine that they pulled it. New charred oak barrel. The, yeah, well, no, I mean, I, yeah. I I figured it was a used barrel, but I, you know, who knows? What was it? What was well, used? Yeah, what, yeah. yeah. What was it used for? Yeah, I mean, it could be. I don't, I don't know. I didn't get that far into it, but I can ask Zach about it for sure. I wouldn't mind trying trying some of those. I'd like to get into um, uh, decent tequilas too, but I oh, dude, ain't nobody got time for that. Well, and I'm tequila makes me uh, super weird, and it makes me time travel, so mm -hmm. I can't. <laughs> You can't get into no it memories? too much. Is yeah, just making making, making making no, no memories. memories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, let's get into uh, round two. Um, Next proof. 102 proof. Barely edging out the old fits for proof. This is Old Soul 15 year. And this is one of those bottles that we were talking about that's come out in 2020 that is uh, a hitter. So this is a 2020 rare and limited release cask strength. And 102 proof. So what's what's funny about this bottle is that it went into the barrel at 125. Okay. And it came out at 102. They didn't water it down. It just that's what it came out as. So and it's. Do you have you watched my video on why that happens? Uh -huh. So whenever a whiskey comes out of the barrel at a lower proof than it went in, it's because it was in a cooler uh -huh. climate uh, or a cooler part of the rick house. And whenever a barrel is in a cooler part of the rickhouse, the alcohol evaporates versus the water evaporating. Okay. Oh yeah. Whereas, so you that's know, like, no, yeah, I think you, I, I either heard that or you told me, told me that one. I don't know, yeah. but yeah, I, I recall that now that you say that. So that's why, like those tier six, which is dumb, four roses are super high proof because they're high in the rickhouse where it gets hot. Yep, that makes sense. So I'm, uh, I'm very interested to taste this one because. I have the Doc Swinsons right next to it, and no one knows where either of these come from, except that they're Kentucky bourbon, 15 years old. And there's a few of them like that. You heard me mention earlier the Bull Run that's 15 years old, and um, I don't know. We'll see. So on the nose, I'm already suspecting something that I heard, and uh, it's really pretty, very, very floral. Mm -hmm. It's got a, got a feminine floral quality. I would describe it more as a perfume than a cologne. Smells like a handsome woman's cologne. Yeah, like a handsome lady. <laughs> a handsome lass. That's a that's a Flatland Cavalry uh, lyric there. And if you don't know who, if you don't know who, yeah, if you don't know who Flatland Cavalry is, look them up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not that. No, not that. But look yeah, them up. Look them up. Great, great uh, red dirt Texas yeah. country band. Yeah, so this is really nice. Mm. Slight nutty flavor. Um, 
So when I when I first opened this, um, I did notice it was great. A uh, little bit low proof. It did remind me of the Doc McStuffins a lot. Um, <laughs> Doc Swinson's. Swinson's. That's why I said. And I I recall that the finish just died on it. Yep. And that's that's what disappointed me in it. So I'm curious to see how it's opened up, if yeah. at all. Yeah. Very. Uh, it's light for sure, mm -hmm. and it's 102 proof. Yeah. I will say that it smells more like 102 proof than yeah, the, the old, old fit. fit smelled like 100 proof. Yeah, for sure. Keith Schmidt says, Antiqua will change your life. It's about 35 bucks. I mean, no more than you mix into a cocktail. I think that would probably last me quite a while. Keep it in the cold part of the fridge. It'd be all right. It'd be all right. By the way, I don't know if that's something that everybody has, but. What, a my, cold fridge? A cold part of the fridge. <laughs> You know, hashtag, what are the pores doing tonight? It's me. I'm the pores. So it is, it's nutty. Um, and it's sweet and it's got a really nice floral note. Like a hibiscus. Mm. I don't, that's not accurate. I made that up for sure. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take it to the dome. All right, same. Mmm. Mm. There's no bite. Mm. Nope. There's no bite whatsoever. That nope. finishes a little bit better. At least today it is. It still kind of peters off pretty quickly, but I'll say the mid palate is it's really good. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah it's really so good. So on the on the tip of the tongue, it's a little nutty and and a little bit spicy, but um, mid palate's just like. Floral eruption. It's it's the epitome of a well aged bourbon. There's no dead spots in the palate whatsoever. Um, very little mouth coating. So I don't yeah. know if this was chill filtered, but um, it certainly droops. Um, there's no etching like whatsoever yeah. on the sides of the glass like there was with Old Fitz, which is it's just a less oily oily whiskey for sure. AJ Lopez says you look like Luke from the Gilmore Girls. So, so I've never seen that. So first of all. Um, I got to say, I'm disappointed, AJ, uh, that, <laughs> you you have, that? that you have seen an episode <laughs> of Gilmore Girls. Um, but second, I, I appreciate it. I, I take it as a compliment because I can only imagine that some guy on a show with the name Girls in it, he's probably pretty good looking. Sexy mf -er. Yeah. Yeah. I, so, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Thanks. Yeah. I think. DM me some <laughs> photos of this guy, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Send me yeah. pics. <laughs> Keith Schmidt asks, did they provide the mash bill for this bourbon? Um, I, yeah, 78 and a half corn, 13 rye, eight and a half malted barley. That's hyper familiar. What? I, man, I, I really think all this stuff is bean. Just because bean, Knob Creek was the first to come out with these 15 year barrels. And I think maybe they waited a year, like, oh, we found some more, or they had some 14 year when these were coming out. So that's and, a stand. And they started, you know, hey, who wants some of this? Yeah. Also, I'll take some. Doc Swinson, I'll take some. Uh, Stop sending those to the retailers. Yeah. We're no longer doing 15 year store picks because that <laughs> shit's way more marketable at $150 yeah, a bottle absolutely. through a non distiller producer. So this is from the, uh, the Cathead Distillery. Which is in Mississippi. Mississippi? Yeah. <laughs> Mississippi. You want to know what Mississippi's like? <laughs> Take a pee in the toilet and then get in there with it. <laughs> Sorry, that's a stand up comedian. I have no negative or positive feelings toward Mississippi. My son was recently accepted to Ole Miss and he is really excited about going. I just hope to give him a scholarship. Where's Ole Miss? Uh, it's in Mississippi. I don't know if you're aware of that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Which part? The newer part or the older part, would you say? I would say Probably the old part. Getting a lot of notes. No, it was bourbon. Where's uh, this is in Jackson? Oh, Jackson. Yeah, is that where, is I think that, that was from. Uh, wasn't that a? Pretty sure that was a, a Johnny Cash song. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm going to Jackson. You guys didn't have to pay for that. That's free. Comes along. <laughs> Chris S says beam and wild turkey mash bill. So that's where I was going to go. Was wild turkey? This smells a lot like a wild turkey to me. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Because hmm. it's lightly nutty. It's not overly nutty, um, yeah. but it's it's freaking good. Now, we're going to get into that. So this is 
This is the bean mash bill. That's yeah. Bean mash well, shit. Let's just um, shoot. Well, I mean, let's just crack this. I've got some extra Glen Cairns here for oh, just oh, such an occasion. Oh, look. So this is a 15 year Knob Creek pick. Comes in at 120 proof, so it's going to be a little louder in the mouth than that other one. Uh, this is a pick from Empire Liquor in Allen, Texas. Shout out to John Herbold for picking this bottle up for mm -hmm. me. You're a damn hero, whether you see this or not. So Ashton Ashton Salt says, the problem with the Jim Beam source theory is that the old soul and dock stuff is too low a proof. The 15-year Knob Creek picks are always higher proof. That's true. I That's just, a great point. Yeah, I just wonder if... Because they water it down to get it to 120. Yeah. And all of them are but, 120. But like you said, may, maybe... Maybe this was just in a cool part of the the warehouse, and uh, you had more alcohol evaporate, and so they had maybe they had barrels that just didn't live up to the you know the the proof of the knob creeks, yep. and so they set them aside and they did something else with them. How I old are know. the oldest air conditioned rickhouses at Jim Beam? Um, I mean they, that they are thirty seven and a half years old. Nice, nice. I think you can Google mm. that. It's worth the Google. It's worth the Google. No, I I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna say. I'm going to say, I don't know. Ah, thanks, Bubba Beth Bourbon. Bubba Beth Bourbon went back and got the like button because he'd forgotten, like many of you probably. Yeah, hit that hit that like button down there. Um, hit the little, it. smash it. Smash that mother. Hit like the, the bell notification right over there. Uh, change it to all. And then uh, tip your waitresses. Don't forget to tip your waitress. Yeah. Oh, so this is, uh, this is really nice, but it's light. So I'm going to go to the knob now. <laughs> Scared. Scary peepers here, uh, looking for rolls that are hot and buttery. You, you got them, came to the right place. Right scary here, peeper. I'm right here, buddy. Scary peeper. <laughs> oh, funny. no, you have no idea. So this is a great opportunity. Scary peeper is OG. I hate that light. Uh, whiskey tube, huge fan. Um, he supports everybody. Great dude. But he also has this amazing company called Scary Peeper. Oh, okay. And he makes. Uh, People that peep in your window. Oh, like so a, you like can a mount or like a no. It's like a like a like sweatshirt a... and eyes and a face. Oh, if you a... want to ruin your wife's life. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but do, like I do. Yeah, but he makes like a Santa peeper, so you can make one for the kids. That's hilarious. Just to scare the shit out oh of them. Oh my god. Yeah, That's it's time funny. for them to stop believing in Santa. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to so, offend anybody that believes in Santa. So no, I. I don't get anything of. I mean, similar, sure, but man, this this old soul, the nose. What what are, what do you, what do you, what do you think, based on nose alone? Which one would you pick? Nose alone, I'm going Knob Creek. Are you? Yeah. God, I'm not. It's just not there for me. Really? Yeah. So the Knob Creek to me is like deep and rich, and, and it's more. Maybe it's just been in the in the glass for a little bit longer than this, so give this time to sit a little bit. I will say that the old soul is way prettier. So it's way prettier, yeah, but maybe. the knob is like, God, I'm here, Knob Creek, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I can see them being cousins, though. Although this has got more of a cherry candy flavor um, initially on the nose. The old, the soul, or no, the the, the knob. knob. God, I don't know. Getting that knob candy. That's just great. Although this did have old fits in it before, and just rinsed Ooh. out with water, so maybe. Maybe that's what's could be giving me. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Shane Long. Shane Long wants to pop in and say, "Hey, keep it up, HBR. We'll see you again soon, buddy. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for popping in. What's up, Amy? Amy's in the chat. My uh, my blue wrench lady. Uh, she put the link to Scary Peeper in the chat. So <laughs> when you go back and rewatch this, you can click on it, Scary Peeper. and uh, you can go order because yeah. Scary Peeper deserves your support." AJ Lopez, uh, that's inappropriate, sir. LOL, deep, rich knob. But I did, LOL. What about Barton? They're sourcing for Sam Houston and uh, Calumet Farms, which are about 15 years old. That Cal Calumet, Calumet, the 14? This is a 14-year-old. Yeah, Sam Houston, Calumet, 14. Because I don't think that they either one of them do a 15, but they definitely do a 14, for sure. Um this is way sweeter than either of those two, for sure. It's also at 98 proof, Ooh. so. Ooh, yeah. Okay. That's good. 
I don't know why I don't drink this Knob Creek more often. Or the the fifteen year pick that I have. It's not Barton. It's not Barton. The, so the, so, so the, the Barton old, has a little bit of banana. I get zero banana in any of this. So that uh, twelve year that I have, I do recall we had that over here. It was a while ago, uh-huh. and you, I I want to say you you thought it was Barton. So I wonder if that older one may be Barton. Uh, we no both, the twelve year old the twelve year old Calumet. No, the Sam Houston. Yeah, it is Barton. It is for sure. Yes, yeah, so that oh, is too. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's Barton. This I don't think this is. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I it could you. be. I got you. Right, it's not disclosed. Right, There's, they've got everybody signing not NDAs. Blah blah blah. Whatever. But no, that it definitely could be Barton. But I just don't think it is. I I'm not getting that. Mm. So what's up, Kilco? I'm here to has all your whiskey, <laughs> bro. Has it all. Has it all. I can has cheeseburger. Excuse me. Firm, we're getting into some C920 Elijah Craig barrel proof, I'm assuming, unless you mean larceny. Either way, it's fine. Those are both fine choices. But if you're going to choose one, one of them is better than the other. It's fine. That, no, that's. Uh, I'm, I'm getting some more and more nuttiness on the, on the old soul. I was telling someone that the other day that I just don't like <sighs> this is just stupid Elijah right. Craig barrel proof, but I had that one C920 and Lord, it's fantastic. Yeah, that Knob Creek just punches you in the mouth um, and says, I'm here. I'm whiskey. Get used to it. I saw where you're going with that. I'm glad you didn't. Glad you didn't end up where you're headed. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. So this one etches itself into the side of the glass like it's acid. Mm -hmm. She's a a oily girl. Mm -hmm. Same. That's that's great. And I'll say the the finish on the Knob Creek 15-year. Just goes and goes. And really goes good. And, yeah. Like forever. Mm-hmm. Forever. It's still there. It's so much more oily than the 15-year-old soul. Still there. Yeah. <laughs> and it just goes and, and goes. And still yeah. there a little bit. 16 people in the chat. What are you guys doing? Thank you all so much for being here. I know that... Is, uh, um, are they still going? Oh, yeah. The junkies are... They go... They go marathon stream. So they've got 500 people in their chat still. So, dude, this is, this is real. Having 15 people in the chat... While the junkies are streaming with some awesome guests, and if you don't know the junkies are streaming, I'll watch my watcher, my viewer list drop down. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You guys can turn on your TV to the junkies and your phones to the hot buttery rolls. Watch yeah. us both. Yeah. I mean, I don't you know. Gotta, you can multitask. I mean, yeah, you got to go on though because you're on day fifteen. I got to. So you it's to. day fifteen. It, We're, it sucks that they're on right now, but say la vie. Well, I just can't. I can't do the. 1 a.m. on a Tuesday anymore. No, uh, <laughs> it just it hurts real bad. Well, and when you when you text me or when we were texting, it was nine o'clock, and I'm like, okay, perfect, okay. rock and roll. Yeah, I got tons of stuff to at work to do tomorrow. Gosh, but it's fine. This is really fine. This one almost reminds me more. It's got that candy note of like a weeder, but I know it's not a weeder. I know yeah. it's not because it's Knob Creek for the show, but it's really sweet. Um, let's see. Someone asked about the Oh, you're welcome, Scary Peeper. Glad to glad to plug your stuff, man. It's it's amazing. It's incredibly creative. I wish I thought of it. And uh if you ever need a marketing guy, holler at your boy. AJ says, I know a group out of DFW who an associated with Houston Bourbon Society and Gulf Coast Distillers out of Houston as well are releasing a cask strength batched 15 year Kentucky straight bourbon. AJ, that sounds delicious. You gross. You did. Ew, ew, I can't believe what they're doing. 15 years, gross. Oh, 15. That's so old. Make sure there's no mold on it. <laughs> Is the Sam Houston 14 great? I have a North Carolina one and really enjoy it, but don't trust myself when I'm drinking. So, Scary Peeper, I will tell you that I enjoy the Sam Houston 14. If it's the first thing I'm drinking, uh, I think it's really pretty good. But I just had three really good 15-year-old bourbons, and then I had a sip of that, and... Um, I'm just gonna say that it doesn't hold up. I, I it does. It, it does not hold up. It's got a lot of. Uh, it's got some unsavory notes that I had never noticed previously. So, I never. I don't think I. I had it the once over here. Maybe for. I don't remember when it was, but it was definitely after other stuff. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of it. Um, but I'd like to have it first for something, and maybe maybe it is good. And it's not eight proof. It's a great yeah, starter. It's, yeah, it's a great yeah, opener. Yeah, absolutely. Before we get to the jet fuel. Uh, Amy said, um, oh, she's talking to Bourbon Beginnings. 
had some Maker's Mark 46 cask. I've been curious about that. Did you get one of those? No, I didn't. Oh, man. We should get one. Yeah. I can I can get one through my and hand delivery Rice network. Store pick. Good stuff. Mm. Yeah. So uh, PCS put up a – one of the guys put up our um, Knob Creek rye pick that they did, and it was – oh, my God, so good. Yeah. And it's like 45 bucks. I think I'm going to snag it here. Do in a minute. it, man. Yeah. Do it. It's really good. For sure. Yeah, Chris asked, BJ's went to cigars. I went here. Man, I, I love the Bourbon Junkies, and um, you know I I watch their cigar content, and it makes me want to get into cigars. But um, yeah, man, I kind of there's a lot of people out there that don't like cigars, so you know, like, yeah, the, like Amy give, and, give you an option for yeah. sure. Amy and Chris are here to keep but, talking whiskey. Yeah. Um, so sorry about the gin talk earlier. <laughs> Maybe derailed us. Awkward. Awkward. <laughs> well, I started this with a beer. <laughs> That's We're true. doing great. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Hot buttery rolls. Do you ever do Scotch or Irish? You seem to have an extensive bourbon collection. So I do. Uh, I enjoy Scotch and I enjoy Irish. Um, I have a very limited selection of those things. So Irish, you had a red breast 27. <sighs> Irish that too. <laughs> Irish is so have, much. Uh, Kilko, have you had, uh, are you, do you do Irish or Scotch? Has anyone here had the red breast 27? If you ever get a chance, uh, Take that chance. Game is, changer. Oh god, it's so good. It's way too expensive to buy for a for a bottle. Three hundred bucks? No, it's like four fifty to five hundred. Cheese and crackers. Yeah, but oh my goodness, it is just blood orange for days and so good. Red breast is probably my favorite Irish. Um, Mine too. It's you know the cast strength stuff. Uh, if you can never get some of those store picks out of the uh, California or the Northeast. God, they were so good too. They come in that beautiful purple bag. Yeah, that bag. <laughs> Make the blends bag look like yep. trailer trash. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to move on to the last one while I still have some Knob Creek left because I really want to see how it stacks up. This is Doc Swenson's 15. This is uh, this is batch seven, and this is specifically from K and L Wine Merchants. Um, this came out of Northern California or somewhere in California. But uh, it is 54.9% ABV, 109.8 proof. And uh, aren't they close to San Francisco? Doc Swinson's? No. Um, okay, no, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yep. Which I guess is like North Central. I don't know. I don't know. California. Who cares? Who cares? It's California. <laughs> Just kidding. Except for the Californians. <laughs> yeah, Kilco, yeah, I'm in the same boat, man. I can only afford one vice. If I went cigars, I'd go full cigars and it would be out of hand. So. Josh was mentioning that to me earlier that he had bought some cigars as a gift, and he said something about a hundred dollar cigar, and I was like, "Well, so uh, Chris and I went to Lubbock, um, the town two hours from here. Yeah, a couple weekends ago, and uh, we went to this cigar place, it's Karma, Good Karma Cigars. And uh, my boss, he he really likes Opus X, he likes uh, Fuente stuff, and uh, so I called him from there, and there was a one cigar. It was a twenty seventeen shark um and it was 100 bucks 99.99 and for one cigar and he wanted that so i bought it for him um i went and went to our hopefully local, he's not watching yeah <laughs> no he's, he's not, not. <laughs> went to uh went to our local cigar place here uh last last weekend yeah and, Saturday. Uh, yeah and i bought six cigars six different cigars two were opus x uh the other four were um just uh, Arturo Fuente, uh, Don Carlos. One was Eye of the Shark, and another was uh, who knows something else. And it was a hundred. Remember how all these people left bucks. when people were talking? Well, about cigars? no, we're not going full. You're doing great. We're not <laughs> doing full <laughs> cig cigar. Uh, we're just saying that they're expensive. So, anyways, talking about the vice, they're expensive. I Six can for 150 bucks. Yeah, I can't. Yikes! Literally take a rolled up hundred dollar bill, yeah, and put it to my face and feel good about it. So that's that's a little difficult for me. So I'm just going to say while you're scrolling back through the chat that all the ones we missed, holy shit. Doc Swinson's? Doc Swinson's is a real lady. Doc Swinson's is a uh, – she has got a slit up to her hip. She's wearing – she's Jessica Rabbit right now. This is a uh, hyperbole of what delicious pretty whiskey should smell and taste like. I haven't even tasted it, but I'm just jumping ahead. Yeah, that's why I bought a holy bottle. That's frick. why I bought a bottle of it. Yeah, for a hundred and sixty bucks, sixty total, yeah. all in, hand delivered. So yeah, I got I got um, two of them, and I paid one 
75 a piece plus shipping twice. Yeah. Uh, one of the, the guy that sent us the case of smoke wagon, he's got one up for 185. I was very surprised at that. Interesting. Yeah. Well, Houston still has some batch seven on the show. There's, there's tons everywhere, specs and all Dude, kinds of. Places. I'm going to tell you right now, if if you can get your hands on specifically a batch seven Doc Swenson's, mother fricker, this is this has got to be top five whiskeys of the year. I will say the same thing for batch six though too. I uh, got sent me a sample. We had that. So was batch was, six MGP? Because uh, I heard that they made no. the switch between six and seven. Uh, well, or maybe it's five and six. I don't know. I, I don't think so, but I I don't know. I I think it was the same same as this. People think it was either Beam or Heaven Hill. Yeah. So uh, Chris S said just Red Breast Twelve. Hopefully it was a cask strength. Scary Peeper says good notes on the Sam Houston hot buttery rolls. Yep, Thanks. You You're welcome. Appreciate the compliment. Ashton Salts. I have it, but haven't opened it. Which one are we talking about there? Maybe the Red Breast Twenty Seven. Oh, maybe, maybe. Ooh, open it. I love the BJ's, but do not like cigars on here. Fair enough. Yeah, right, I well, also really enjoy hot buttery rolls. Hey, well, hey, I'd rather that you came here because you wanted to be here versus you didn't want to be somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll we'll stop talking about whatever we were talking about before that made everybody leave. Yeah. What's up, Marcus? How you doing, buddy? Sooner, Dad. That's Marcus yeah. Jackson. Yeah. In the chat, I did have a red breast flight. Uh, Kilco says at hot buttery rolls, I did have a red breast. Flight last week had a RB21 sample in it. Nice. nice. But unless someone sends me a sample, I can't afford the fancy stuff. Hey, I hear you. I get it. So yeah. Red Breast, uh, Red Breast Cask Strength is my favorite Irish that's relatively, relatively approachable. Yeah, relatively. And it's still a hundred bucks. I mean, yeah. it's aggressive. Lone Sam Houston 14. Wander oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to say Lone Wanderers 360 says, hey, everybody. Um, hey, Lone Wanderer. Lone Wander, uh, do you, have you checked your mail? recently let me know oh look at that right there at the bottom <laughs> i got your smoke wagon sample <laughs> thanks for donating to shayla's raffle as soon as i can i'll be enjoying that awesome absolutely awesome, yeah, awesome. enjoy it let me know what you think uh next time i'm on here or um you know whatever yeah let me know what you think of it it's what's up klein it's good michael klein's in the chat prime time michael klein look gary friend uh gary franchi says trev sent me Nice. Look at that, Trev Wilson. Thanks, Gary Franchi. Appreciate it, buddy. Hey, y'all. There's 25 people in the chat. Holy shit! Hey, y'all, don't forget to hit that like button, please. Yeah. For our old, old friend rolls of Dude. buttery hot. Or the dislike button. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, it's all the same. I was watching the Whoa. the chat earlier where uh, there was people that say that the dislike button works the same as the other one. Really? Yeah. Oh, what did I do here? It's hard to say, man. Went way up. There's so many chats now that there's so many people in here. Nutty, dude. Jeez. Yeah. Hell yeah. Good Lord, where are we going? Okay, Jake's go. on bikes. All right. Hey, Kleiners, said Amy. Hey, oh, Amy. great, cigar talk again. <laughs> That's, what are you talking about? That's no, what I was like, hey. We oh, were talking about cigars. Shit. We were talking about uh, money and how expensive they are, but we've stopped. So how about roll says, yeah, and allegedly that 15 years of distillery based out of Claremont. Allegedly. There was an NDA, but I didn't sign one, and I've only heard rumors, so just hearsay. Allegedly. <laughs> Where's what's what distillers in Claremont? Claremont. Um ah, what is that? I just I just heard something about it recently. Oh, the junkies are done. Watch it. The junkies are finished full of the night. Maybe they'll jump in my maybe they'll jump into my chat. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, come on. Uh Claremont, is that uh North Carolina? No. Is that the um no? What am I thinking of? Um, is it They're probably putting it in the chat as I'm Googling. Yeah, probably. Well, we haven't gotten that far yet. So. Right. Mike Franklin says Fox. Jim Beam. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Duh. It says it right freaking here. That's where I saw Claremont. Idiot. <laughs> God dang. <laughs> We're doing I, great. I, I know I saw Claremont somewhere. Great. She's not bad. <laughs> She's just distilled that way. <laughs> Let's go back to my Jessica Rabbit comment. I love it. Cheers, Tim Evans. I'm going to be honest. The similarity between Knob Creek and Doc Swenson's, there's definitely some there. RB12 is damn good. It is, AJ. Mm. Uh, Ashton said, yes, the RB27. Nice. Do yourself a favor and open it. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know if it's worth there sitting on the shelf. It, it's damn good, though. Doc Swenson's is. 
just blows everything away. It's really special. Mm. Really, really special. Dad gummit. Oh god. That is so good. Yeah. So glad I have a yep. bottle of that coming. Oh, thanks guys. Everybody that's reminding everybody to smash the like and subscribe button. Appreciate you guys. Okay. There we go. Back. Sorry. Are we? Working on a laptop. About to crack the Maker's Mark 101. Dude, there that's a go. good bottle. I'm glad you got that. I was talking to a guy today at lunch about that bottle. It's really good. Uh, all right, here we go. Would you pay $190 for the Swenson? I, uh, yeah. Uh, it's, I, I think it's uh, it's close. I think it's $190 whiskey. It's uh, 150 was. 150 is so much better. Oh, yeah. If you can get it for 150 175 freaking do it. If you can't, I really think that this is a bottle that you won't be mad that you got yeah. that, got for yeah. 190. If you got the 190 and you're good paying that, yeah. If yeah. you're if you're okay with spending 190 dollars on a whiskey, because some people are like, no, there's no bottle worth more than 60 dollars. Yeah, you know, uh, like past Chris, Chris from the past. Why is Chris? <laughs> Chris that didn't spend 190 dollars on bottles. He's a good dude. Yeah. Amy says, it's a screw top. Don't forget. It gets me every time. <laughs> That's awesome. I love the rear, the red breast 12 cash. I almost just said say, rare breed. Just say RB. Which RB caused 12. me to track down the red breast 27, but I've been waiting for a special occasion to crack it. Okay. It's That's, a Tuesday. It's the yeah. 15th day of my advent calendar, yeah. and I think that's pretty special. I think today's special, but, you know, I understand <laughs> if you want to wait until, like, a kid's born or something like that. Yeah, you know, or, like, birthday. wedding. Yeah. Something. Maybe Jesus' birthday. A Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wednesday on, a, <laughs> on Christmas week. Yeah. Positive Definitely no alerts Christmas. work tonight. Dude, there was so much stuff going on when I went live. So uh, David and Kira were still on with um, My Bourbon Journey. And Dan and Sean were on with the Bradleys. And it was uh, – there was just a lot going on, man. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I'm not good with alerts. And I also don't schedule these. So I actually was working on a schedule – earlier with David from shelf turds of the whiskey tubers and what time they go on. So yeah, y'all need to have a, like an outlook calendar and you like schedule your vacation time, you know, there's gotta be, there's yeah. gotta be right. Like yeah, in that for like a restaurant tracking software. Mm -hmm. So that way, if I need somebody to cover my shift, mm -hmm. I can be like, mm -hmm. Michael Klein, I'm going to go, you know, to the birth of my fourth child. <laughs> can you please stream? I can't cover you, man. You better cover yourself. You know, let's hope that does. Yeah, it goes. Yeah. Oh, also, uh, there we go. So glad you two are enjoying. Whoa. Shit, I did it again. What's up, Stanley Wagner Jr.? Welcome to the chat. Also, Gary Franchi. I didn't say hello to you. Jermaine Compton. Welcome to the cat chat. The cat. Also, the cat. Yep. Welcome to the cat. Welcome to the cat. Uh, yep. So somebody did say Jim Beam. Yeah. So there we go. Uh, I think we're getting caught up. There was um okay. So red breast fifteen has that malt funk similar to Scotch that I don't dig too much. I can definitely see that. Um, red breast fifteen, I want to say, is a lower proof, and so I really enjoy the cask strength red breast because it takes the funk out of the way and gives it more of that nice um, like honeysuckle heat. It's it's freaking good. Yeah, Amy says you got to be ready for the HBR at any time. <laughs> Man, I'll, I'll pounce like a cougar. Damn right. You damn right. AJ said, speaking of red breast, uh, Claw's red breast sample. They, was that in in batches one through five, maybe? Yes. Okay, I, mi I missed yeah, that one. Yeah, so we're I doing the on six. I think you did too. We're yeah, because you've been what, in for nine? three? You've been in there for I think three? I yeah? fourth one, yeah. Fourth or fifth. So it might have been five. Yeah, it was right know. before you got in. But yeah, we were like guessing all kinds of stuff. I guessed... I guess Japanese. Uh, I thought it was Nika from the barrel. Mm. Yep. Oh, Ashton, happy yeah. birthday on Christmas. Hey, you got nine days that's a, starting tomorrow. You got nine days left. That's a fantastic day to crack that ball. And so. the, re the reason I know that is my kids tell me every day. <laughs> How many days are left? left till Christmas. Nine days left they have that Christmas, little, daddy. Uh, wooden thing that they change little blocks. Yeah. And numbers. yeah. I love it. That's cute. And we're doing the elf on the shelf right now. Which, whoo, 
<laughs> but it's, it's fine. I like no, the elf on the shelves where it's like got Barbie and like the, they're bowl. doing all kinds of dirty yeah. stuff. Yeah, we don't we don't go that crazy with it. We just kind of move it around and then give them a present from the elf every now and then. So yeah. So I hear about Discord Bubble Bath Bourbon. I don't know what Discord is. I I, I assume it's like uh, it's like the Facebooks or MySpace. Discord. Discord. Is it? It's like Reddit. I don't know. It's like a page based chat. I don't know. Hmm. So yeah, if um, Bubble Bath Bourbon, if you want to email me, um, cccbritain at gmail dot com. If you could send me a link, that'd be amazing. So yeah. Oh, I made the mistake of trying this that old soul. Uh oh. After both of these, I don't know how you remove that from the dealio. What do you, what do you need to remove? <laughs> AJ Lopez said that he thought that the. Uh, the red breast was a high rye bourbon. So, which is funny because AJ Lopez drinks more Balcona's than anybody yeah. I've ever met. Yeah. And a lot of that is single malt yeah. uh, as a red breast is. We yes. like to suckle the we, red breast. We do like to suckle we the do. red breast. We do. It did sound right. And it, it made sense. <laughs> we were both on board. <laughs> Sounded perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. Maker's Mark 101 is pretty mellow. Going to take more hours than I've got time to tomorrow to recover. Fully appreciate it. Weekend sipper. Fair enough. Mm. I don't know what Slack or IRC is, buddy. I'm so sorry. I'm uh, I'm an old person, apparently. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so it's like Facebook, Facebook or Twitter, Twitter, but with live chat and different channels. Okay. Mm. Fair enough. Mm. What's the other one? MeWe? Is it like MeWe? That one's terrible. I, I sound like an old person that right one's now. terrible. I'm leaving Facebook and going to Parlor. You damn kids, get off my lawn. Parlor. I don't even know what that means. I, just, I don't either. I read it on Facebook. So, yeah. What's up, Clifford Cawthorn? Welcome to the chat. Now we're just drinking some. Uh, today's a uh, shelf shelf turd Tuesday. Yeah, it's just some whiskeys we had laying around. <laughs> we're literally we've got a uh, mm. shoot. We've got five hundred dollars worth of whiskey on this in four bottles, and sixty years worth, and sixty years worth of whiskey yep. mm -hmm. on this table. So, Tony, G, get off my lawn! <laughs> I I almost texted you. You want me to bring two of the uh, Sagmore Spirit Rye picks because that's a uh, fifteen year. You got oh, seven and a half and seven and a half. You well, yeah, pour I mean, them together, right? That's fifteen. That's years? fifteen years. That's how that works. Okay. That's that's math. Yeah. Kevin Campbell says, "Hey, Chris, you planning a Saturday live? I might be. So I'm actually also supposed to go live." Well, with destination bourbon you have to right? um yeah i've got to and um y'all tune in to adhd whiskey on friday i'm just gonna say that because uh there's something big well there's two things big that are going to be on the channel but not for much longer <laughs> one of them is adhd whiskey and the other is hot butter <laughs> yeah so that's, that's i don't know if stuff. you guys are following the channel uh but adhd whiskey and i are going to have a competition and we're gonna we're gonna kind of outline it on Friday. Our first weigh in is on Friday, so I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm eating like a madman. I'm I had some biscuits earlier. I ate butter cookies. I had pe peanut butter covered pretzels. I drank two beers, three and a half, three, and a half three, beers. three beers. Yeah, two and a half beers. Yeah. yeah. So I am bulking <laughs> for my for my cutting phase. Bulking. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm funny. I'm a bulk. I'm a bulk. Yeah. If Slack had a baby with Reddit, that's Discord. Fair enough. Yeah. I don't know what Slack is. Tony G wants to know if you're in Texas. God, this is good. This this Oreo beer might yeah. be might be one of the best why things on the still, table. Why do you still have some of that left? Because I was using it as a power cleanser oh. in between rounds. Uh Tony G, yes. Yes, I'm we're in Texas. Is in Texas. Yeah. West Texas. We are. We're in the, the anus of Texas. Mm -hmm. Is that well, the right direction? Well. Yeah. Okay, this is Texas. Okay. This is Oklahoma. And this is New Mexico. It's windy in West Texas because New Mexico sucks and Oklahoma blows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a stupid joke. Stupid joke. But no, seriously, if this is Texas, Midland is right right here in the in the sad part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't say we're the anus. We're probably the armpit. We're I'd the, say Pecos, we're the taint. Pecos, Texas is the taint. Yeah. No, Pegasus is the anus. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Anus. And use. <laughs> Good pours, and I can't complain. 
No, grape wars, man. Yep. Is there uh, a spread? A spread of what? Is there a spread? Like a shark cutter? Oh, is there a spread? Cutter? Like an over and under? <laughs> like the over and under? No, that you maybe like you should. Like a cheese spread or a cheese and meat spread? There will probably be a, a, a char <laughs> coochie board. Yeah. 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 Maybe tomorrow. Are maybe y'all, y'all going to go over the details? And, yeah. Okay. We are. Are y'all going to do a bottle or are you just going to do it for? So we're going to leave that kind of open. We're not okay. sure what we're going to do yet, what the competition's for. It's going to run quite a long time. So we're running from this Friday until um, June, June 1st. 1st. So that's a long time. That so um, there might be like a, 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 a pot that we either, you know, first place gets this, second place gets yeah. this, or winner take all. Yeah. We could do um, like if somebody wanted to donate bottles, we could be like, you know, this is for this time period. This is the, the winner of this. Um, I talked to him about betting, you know, one of my high end bottles against one of his high end bottles. There's a lot of things we got to flush out. So yeah. that's part of the reason we're doing it on Fridays. We yeah. still got a, th- a lot of things to talk about, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> right under his comment. Is there a spread betting spread? That is not like catering. spread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't read fast. We don't read fast. Listen, there's going to be both. There's going to be a betting spread and a catering spread. Yeah. Later. Yeah. AJ it says to... it's in the logo as well. So the state of Texas is is in my logo in the top right hand corner of your screen. And if you look just right at the top of the B, the top corner of the B, that's where Midland is. So Tony G says close to Ensenal. Ensenal? I assume that's South Texas. No, yeah, Ensenal, South Texas, buddy. Okay. Yeah, no, we're, yeah, we're but I'm left. proud of you for knowing a town in Texas. Midland. Yeah, Midland is where we're at. Yeah. You, you know what's funny is most people, whenever like people from back home, <laughs> Paul Paul uh, Ledeber says uh, Ledeber. I think that's. Ledeber. I remember when Ledeber. you spelled it phonetically. Ledeber. I think I nailed it. Who knew that Fat Tuesday Mardi Gras was in December? <laughs> Bruh, you're looking at it, man. It's Fat Tuesday every day when you're fat. The odds are against you, so my money is on you. Thanks, Bourbon Beginnings. Uh, I think so too. So. Matt was saying at his lowest, he was like 180. Um, my lowest, I was at like 216. So the mo- the least I've ever weighed as an adult was after but was it, after my divorce. It should and be. I was on that divorce 360 diet where you just basically eat your feelings. And, uh, nose beers. <laughs> nose beers. Just, you know, just kidding. broken dreams. <laughs> Not a lot of calories and broken dreams. But uh, no, I was at 216 was but the lowest I'd, I've been as an adult. But it should be a body, per- body it is. It is percentage. Drop- yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if he goes from whatever he weighs to 180, well, when I yeah. go from whatever I weigh, yeah, it's going to be a lower percentage for sure. AJ says, nah, bro, we in that ass. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. We all up in yeah, that I'm ass. Not, you know, yeah. yeah. Should do wrong. teams, and the teams that loses the most wins. Well, Beth Bourbon, I don't trust people uh, or myself. So I'd hate to let my team down, <laughs> and I'd hate even more for my team to let me down. Kilco said, I want to drop 10 pounds, but the holidays aren't going to let that happen anytime soon. Listen, man, oh, January 1st, just go join the gym like everybody else and, and get after it then. No no point in trying to do it over the holidays. There's too much prime rib and green bean casserole and mashed potatoes. And you know we're starting Friday. To eat. You know we're starting on Friday, right? Well, you're fucked. I am, I'm, oh, you're I'm totally screwed, dude. Yeah. Totally uh, screwed. I, I hate to bring this up now, but uh, what about Friday's lunch? So this Friday's lunch, I could weigh after Friday's lunch because it's just Friday. Well, so we go eat that double chicken breast, uh, yeah, buffalo, buffalo chicken, chicken sandwich. sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds amazing. That's actually basically keto compared to the other you, shit. You're I just eat. gonna have to sit there and drink your drink Bud Light, drink one Bud Light, no, and then that's it. You don't drink any beer when you're on Michelob a diet. Ultra. Psychopath. Michelob Ultra is the Gatorade of beers. Yeah. Everybody knows it's a sports drink. Yeah. You've seen the commercials. It doesn't count. Going to Ensenal. Tony G is going to Ensenal Thursday for the weekend. What are you going to Ensenal for? Something sounds yeah, sounds interesting, man. I think Ensenal's down down uh, down in South Texas, man. Is that by Laredo? La Redo. I've been to San Antonio a bunch of times. Family in Dallas, Houston, and New Braunfels. Oh yeah, Lone Wander. Yeah, those are all great places to visit in Texas. Okay, yeah, it's just just uh, northeast of La Redo. So. McAdoo's and New Braunfels is the shiz. Great eatery. Good to know, man. Jim, Love what gym? Gyms are closed, LOL. Not out here. <laughs> we don't believe in COVID out here. Damn right we don't. Scary. 
don't even know I've had it. But now I'm immune. So You're fine. You're good. I, I can go back to the You gym. can go to the gym. You don't have to wear a mask. That's right. I mean, they're going to make you, but you know, whatever. Everything is closed but the liquor store. Yeah, we went through that too at the beginning of the the uh, the beginning of COVID at the beginning of the quarantine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we um, we had that same thing where we were just in the driveway drinking six feet apart. It was weird. Yeah, I think they um, you know we had the lockdown, lock, not lockdowns. So we didn't have any lockdowns here, but just no, um, we we're not brave enough for that. Yeah, our our uh, our city councils are way too afraid of their. They're people. Well, I think everybody got tired of it and just said, ah, screw it. Let's just open everything. So, so um, uh, yes, we are both in the oil field. Yep. All industry. Yep. We're in Earl on gas. So funny story about Earl. Um, my <sighs> my driver's ed teacher uh, back in Dallas uh, is definitely called Motor Earl. Nice. That's awesome. You got to go out and you check the Motor Earl. I yeah. love it. I love it. E A R L Motor Earl. For show. Sure. My weird thought of the year. More people have seen my face online than when I am out in public places this year. Yeah. That's probably accurate, That's Kilko. True. For show. Sure. Lone Wanderer 360 said, J Pit, don't worry. The cure for Rona just happens to be barrel proof whiskey. 60% or more. Probably yeah, light I, whiskey. I, you I, drink a lot of that light whiskey. So. Yeah, I wish that were the case because. <laughs> Because then I wouldn't have gotten it. Although I'm happy I got it, got it over with, and now have the antibodies. So I'm glad you I'm glad you made it through, man. Yeah. My weird thought of the year. Oh, I we already read that. Sorry. I'm dumb. Mm -hmm. I can help out. I wake up every ever moat for hear that coach screaming, pump it up and roll over, and go back to bed while the wife works out. Those are certainly all words. Yeah, word salad. Yep. What kind of dressing are you having on that <laughs> word salad? Ranch. It's gotta be ranch. Sounds delicious. Full fat oh, ranch. Yep. So, guys, going back to these, we've been sitting here talking, and I've just kind of let these whiskeys sit and open up in the glass. Um, I will say that the Old Soul is different, not dramatically different, but it's different than the Knob Creek and the Docks. Yeah. It's got a bit of a bitter note to it now. Just not, like my ex-wife. Hey! Not unpleasant, Just unlike my unlike wife. That's yeah. <laughs> a weird joke. Yeah. <laughs> but the Knob Creek opened up to this beautiful that, vanilla oak beast. That Knob Creek is fantastic. Holy crap. Really like I I'll tell you right now, I'm I will not drink any more of that Knob Creek without letting it sit in the glass for mm -hmm. 20 freaking minutes because that is really pour special. you a Knob Creek and then pour your first whiskey that you're gonna have. Yep. And then have your Knob Creek second. For show. It's mm -hmm. really nice. Master Blender status. Yes. Bell Bath Bourbon says, oh, man, that obtanium 73.3. 146.6 proof. That sounds ludicrous. Hey, Jay, is technically in the oil industry. I just sell it differently than y'all, and my company is based out of Kentucky. Hey, Jay, congrats on the new job, buddy. Yeah, Where did you land? Now? What are you doing now? Based in Kentucky. Hmm. Hey, Jay, by the way, uh, recently employed with a new company because he stood up for some ladies that he worked with in his store against an abusive person refusing to follow COVID protocols. And that guy called his company and got him fired because he's a dickhole. Yeah, and he was a customer, right? Customer. Yeah. Customer's always right. Yeah. Bullshit. Okay. Chivalry is always right. All right? right. There's a couple of things we believe in strongly at the hot buttery rolls whiskey show. And, uh, making sure that a lady's treated like a lady is one of the top things. And so, uh, you know, this is this is going out to AJ. Cheers, buddy. Cheers to your chivalry. Cheers to being a real man. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that this new job Good treats you. you way better than the last one ever could have. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Mm. Bobbling. Okay. Okay. Great nice. job. That's a great job, man. Uh, Tony G wants to know we're getting some hot buttery rolls. Done. Okay, so... I went and I got the etching stuff. Yeah, and I cut out your logo and everything. Oh, you did. And it was a it was a mother trucker to get that thing on there. So I don't know if it, that vinyl is just a little bit too too thick. Yeah. Or what? But I, I mean, I got it all cut out, but it just wouldn't. It wouldn't. I, I don't know how to get it on this curve here. I'm gonna say right now, dude. Laser probably the way to go. Yeah, like get it yeah, laser. I think that's the way yeah, to go for sure. Yeah. Yep. Or you could get it on a rocks glass, but 
Oh, that's a good idea. Or I, I could do that. What about the uh, what about the knee glasses? I wonder if there's a flat enough service for the knee glasses. Yeah, maybe. So the the really cool one that I have is the um, the smoke wagon knee glass mm -hmm. that has a smoke wagon logo in the bottom. Oh, nice. I so seen that, I don't think. Oh, I'll show it to you. Yeah. Remind me to show you that. Oh, show. Yeah. Risk management. Tony G. I work in risk management. Uh, risk management. I always think of uh, uh, Ruben Feffa and Along Came Polly. Uh, and you will have a pretty good employment claim. Attorneys will take oh, what, uh, take it on contingencies, so it won't cost you a dime. I fight claims like that every day. You'll get some money. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, oh, yeah. AJ. Uh, go ahead and DM Tony G. Yeah, Tony's a good guy. He's a better man than I. Yeah, Bubble Beth Bourbon says, Glens are a weird shape for flat vinyl. Yep. For show. Yep. For uh, show. AJ, yes, uh, we absolutely do need to share some pores soon. Yep. So. And we appreciate the hell out of you, buddy. Yep, absolutely. CDC recommends 70% to kill COVID. I bought a barrel rye single barrel store pick at 143.3 proof in October. Those barrel ryes are supposedly amazing. I didn't get one. I had a shot at two of them. I want to say their, their price was similar to the ABV. They were like, 75 or 77 bucks yeah. i deeply regret not getting one yep and we've talked about it before but we had that nasa pick that was oh, fantastic that has yeah. Matt. it was good for beginnings that'd be awesome buddy man so the doc swinson's in the glass late is still really good but i'll say that it it opened up it's kind of dying in the glass and the knob is just like getting better. Man, if you put these, if you put the Doc Swinson's and the Knob Creek side by side in glass, and they're try, you they're try them both, the and room. you say this one's one fifty, this one's fifty five, give me that fifty five all day long, all day, all yeah, day, absolutely. You, you know I, what I did like about the Doc Swinson's? Um, well, I don't know. I, I like to punch you in the mouth, but it definitely didn't have that bite as the Knob Creek. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's a little bit easier to to drink, but you know you're talking what eleven proof point tire for the Knob Creek. So yeah. But yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. But I, I'll be honest, I can, I can see why people think that the Doc Swinsons and the Knob Creek are the same distillate because they both have a very pretty nose to them. They are both super rich. Um, they both have the nuttiness. Yeah, you know. slight nuttiness yeah. though. Well, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Those are all great. The nuttiness is not the so on a regular Knob Creek one twenty. Nuttiness is like the first thing. Like it's, it's nuts. It's balls, not balls. It's nuts. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but it's like <laughs> it's roasted to honey, the honey roasted peanuts <laughs> as far as the eye can see. Okay, on these it's perfume and floral and really pretty notes and then it's just like oh yeah honey roasted peanuts <laughs> just like whispered in your ear and it's really nice so i'm gonna go full master blender as well and i'm gonna mix my doc with my kc 120 15 year store pick which by the way guys to those of you late to the to the stream we're drinking doc swenson's knob creek old soul and old fitz 15 Everything is 15 years. Everything's 15 years old. You know why? Because it's December 15th. It's the 15th right. day of Advent. So right. glad you guys are here. Thank everybody for showing up. God, we're at 25 viewers still. So that's freaking um, nutty, dude. So how do you say how do you say Amy's last name? Boom? I say boom. Like, boom? Yeah. like someone that's mispronouncing like poem. Yeah. Boom. Like poem. poem. She said uh she was scared we we're gonna have to use the uh high high proof bourbon for hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to mention, um, I was, uh, I saw on Instagram, I follow a uh, Traverse city whiskey company and they yep. said, our hand sanitizer is live on the website. Go get some. And, um, I went over there real quick and I bought three of the little bottles because, you know, we didn't know what the hell was going on. So I'm right. like, Oh, we don't have any hand sanitizer. We need Clorox wipes, this and that. So I bought three of the little, uh, they're like, I think they're 200 milliliter, um, hand sanitizers. And it's the coolest little bottle. Uh, haven't used any of it, haven't needed it. Uh, but, I think it's kind of cool to have. So yeah. I just hope I don't get drunk one day and say, oh, look at this. What is this? This must be white dog. And It's a mistake, dude. I think it's the heads. I think it's the heads cut, right? Yeah. Off the distillation run. Yeah, probably. They were throwing it away, and then they just turned it into hand sanitizer. 
I swear the only reason I stream anything this year is because I don't want to drink alone. Kyoko, that's kind of how I even that's, started into this, oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. into the whole whiskey tube deal is because I was getting deep into collecting and like a lot of my friends have little kids or, you know, like I can't go out to the bars cause I've got a family and you know, it is what it is, man. Gonna need to rewatch that old soul is delish. Matt, welcome to the chat, dude. Hang on, we skipped some stuff. Let me just get back up here real quick so we can uh, – uh, let's see. There's a better value. Keith Schmidt says there's a better, better value in bourbon than a Knob Creek store pick for 60 Absolutely. Agreed. Agreed. Followed by a Lodge Craig Barrel yep. for 60 bucks. Yep. Yeah, come on. Uh, or 65 probably. I would sit at a bar and have lunch and a whiskey each week. That stopped very early this year. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, dude, that does suck. That does suck. Yeah. Hey guys, you talking Doc Swinson? I have one of those waiting for me to pick up. ADHD, ADHD whiskey has entered the chat. Bro, go pick it up and taste it before you do any kind of best bourbons of 2020. Yeah. Because it's a freaking hitter, bro. I don't know if you know which batch you got. We're drinking 007, which, uh, you know. 006 is great. 006 well. is good. 008, I've heard, is great as well. Yeah. But, uh, dude, uh, 007, I mean, you know, RIP Sean Connery. <laughs> My my OG spy hero, um, but dude, this is this is fantastic. I like to think that there's a little bit of Sean Connery in every bottle. Mm -hmm. That's not scientific. I don't. They don't make that assertion at all. But that's just a little extra you get here. Amy Rome says yes. Rhymes with bone. Yes. And also vice versa. Mailed it. Gonna need to rewatch that old soul is delish. It's it's good. But freaking man, tasty, dude. Yeah, it's really good. But you, yeah, we got these Doc Swenson and. Uh, Knob Creek store pick 15 years. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah uh, dude. That This Knob Creek 15 years freaking amazing. Yeah. Freaking amazing. Uh, yeah. Do you guys want to do a giveaway? I could do a one-ounce sample of of uh, at least three of these. I'm not going to make volunteer old soul. One-ounce sample, too. One-ounce sample. So, guys, let's do a – let's do a – Amy, are you ready for this, girl? <laughs> let's do – a giveaway and i tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pause for a second and i'm gonna put my i'm gonna put my uh let's see if i can change this edit edit name okay all right so my venmo is all right and I'm doing great. I just deleted everything I just did. We're doing great. <laughs> oh, man. And I'm going to have to look up what my PayPal is because I know not everybody has that. Has Venmo. So give me just a second to do that. But, yeah, we're going to do four one-ounce samples so that you guys can replicate this flight at your homes because this stuff is freaking amazing. And uh, I want you guys to experience it. This is a great flight. It's a fantastic, a really flight. great flight. All right. So, and it'd be cool to, um, you know, ha whoever wins it, if they can do it blind, and you know, see if they can figure out which, you know, just give us some notes and 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 say what they like the best. So, I don't know if you guys know how to do the PayPal dot me, but. I'm going to put my crap in there and just in case. And do me a favor to help Amy out. If you make a donation, mention in, well, you know what? Actually, let's don't do that. <laughs> Amy, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll link up in just a second and I'll tell you. No, I mean, if, I'm going to say it anyway. If you donate for every $5 donation, you get an entry. So in the chat, put uh, tag at Amy Bohm and put how many entries you have and then we'll square up at the end and make sure we have the right amount of entries so all right there we go guys so my venmo is at hot buttery rolls and my paypal is paypal.me slash britain 955 please do not put any comments excuse me any comments in your payments um except for a period that would be great thank you so much hand sanitizer smells like cheap tequila. Bubble bath bourbon. Thank you for saying that. I've been saying that since the beginning, whenever the distillery started making it. 
I don't know how you take a corn based product and make it smell like a shit agave unless cheap tequila is made from corn because literally it reminds me of college. Like it's a freaking disgusting memory roller coaster nightmare. Anytime I get a cheap hand sanitizer, hate it. Freaking hate it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Doc, Doc Swenson, I'm going to need to see your credentials, please, sir. Turns out that's a trigger for me. I don't know, Gary Franchi, I don't know if you watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but I literally watched that episode earlier with my daughter, and we were laughing our asses off about the doctor versus doctor versus doctor thing. It was busting on that dentist for not being a real doctor, and it was it was hilarious. I love that show. It's yeah. a great show. Where do we buy the old soul? Uh, on the internet, Tony. Yeah, Good I, luck, buddy. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, for sure. I actually, uh, there was a guy that had this old soul. Um, <laughs> what? Sorry. No, it's all right. I read Stanley Wagner Jr.'s comment. <laughs> Hot buttery rolls. Isn't it cannibalism if Doc McStuffins is drinking Doc McStuffins <laughs> with Marty oh G. Oh, God. I didn't think about that. <laughs> That's I funny. freaking love it. That is funny. Oh, that's great. So there was a guy that had this old soul, um, and he was, I don't know, he was selling it for, I don't know how much, but uh, he also uh, wanted uh, Midwinter Night's Dram um, Act 6s, I believe. Or I can't remember what he wanted, but I had an Act 6 scene 3, I think, something like that. And so I offered it up to him, and he said he wanted a little extra bucks with it, and I said, sorry, um do one to one, but I don't, I don't really need that that bad. And That's still, he, he finally came back and he said, "Okay, I'll I'll do you the swap." I was like, "All right." And I paid for I paid for him to ship his ways. bottle, yeah, for hand delivery yeah, both ways. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Those and, those hand delivery couriers, yeah, they can add up for sure. Tony G said, "Maddie, we got to get HBR to a thousand subs." Dude, yeah, we're working on it. We're working it. We're almost there. We're almost there. Um, How is it compared to Old Soul? So Doc McStuffins, Doc Swinson's. <laughs> Is way better than old soul. Yeah, it really is. It coats it's, the mouth better. The nose is a hundred times better. And it, you know what's funny is it's only seven point eight proof points higher, but it's so much better. Yeah, I don't understand. It's I don't know. It's just fantastic. So AJ Lopez says what I just said a minute ago. Um, it's those heads cuts, man. Corn gets real funky. Okay, so. I was assuming that the cuts that they were taking in order to give this hand sanitizer was the heads because you can't drink that anyway. It will make you literally go blind um, or kill you. So, yeah. Uh, so, guys, sorry. My Venmo is at Hot Buttery Rolls, and my PayPal.me is CBritain955. Yep. And uh, my uh, my PayPal right is, a, is a photo of me with a mullet. Uh, that picture was taken actually the day I met AJ Lopez. Hey, buddy. <laughs> and uh, I had a wicked mullet, and we were drinking incredible bourbon at Balcona's. Uh, and then the Venmo, <laughs> the Venmo avatar is Chuck Norris pushing Jean Claude Van Damme, using him as a show <laughs> snow, snow shovel, doing the splits down a sidewalk. So, damn, yeah. look at Tony G. Baller. Hell yeah. 10 entries. Dude, Tony, thank you, brother. That's awesome. Gary Franchi. Yep. Two inches. Brooklyn Nine Nine is a great show. Mm -hmm. I just got into it. So my my second oldest son went away to college, and him and his buddies uh, all got into watching Brooklyn Nine Nine, and they watched all the seasons. Well, he came back home, and my freshman in high school daughter was hanging out with him, and he was like, "Have you ever watched Brooklyn Nine Nine?" And I was like, "Is that appropriate? It's crazy appropriate. It's." I mean, like, compared to most of the shit that's on TV right now, I can watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine with my my 14-year-old daughter and not feel, like, unbelievably uncomfortable. That's a win. Yeah. So if you guys – I don't know if you guys take uh, sitcom recommendations <laughs> from your whiskey tube friends. TV advice. Dude, hot butter rolls Brooklyn Nine-Nine's right there, man. Yeah. Fresh out. Fresh out. Oh, goodness. Mm. Hey, thanks, Tim Evans, for putting that in the chat. Gracias. Gary Franchi has two entries. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Um, somebody else had some. Stanley Wagner Jr. has an entry. Thanks, buddy. Thank you very much. He says, I need a pick with you and Jay Pitt so I can do a little magic to create a pick. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, uh, Yikes. Like, like holding hands or yeah. just our, gingerly touching beards? Our Thursday MGP Rye Snuggle. Yeah. Is that 
Is that what you need? All right, buddy. I'm going to take this picture and we can uh, do it at what you need to. Hold on. Why do I have so many chins? What the uh, frick? I got more. Never mind. I'm not. That was racist. <laughs> All right. That was racist. My thought. There was. Yeah. There's a thing that people the used to button. say. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's terrible. You it's were, awful. You were a terrible person. I'm an awful person, I'm and I'm trying to be woke. I'm wide awake, and yet I'm still BR dragging my feet. Brb, unsubscribing from oh me. Oh my too. gosh, dude. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I don't subscribe for me too. So what a uh, horrible person, guys. I'm sorry. Casey, I'm sorry. Casey McLeod. Just McLeod. Kidding. Casey McLeod <laughs> of the Clan McLeod. <laughs> you dick of the Clan McLeod. There can be only one. Uh, so JCVD is not what I expected to hear. JCVD. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Took me a second. Too. Yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. No, uh, I chose that avatar a couple of years back when I set up my Venmo because um, TBH, I didn't want my wife to know I had a Venmo. And so I was Whoa. Like, well, I mean, well, cause it was for whiskey purchases. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. it was maybe those, uh, massage spas <laughs> no. downtown Midland. No, okay. no, I, I don't want anybody to see this <laughs> naked. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, bu <laughs> bubble bath bourbon says do a jump high five. How that would be awesome. How are we going to capture that picture though? That's the only thing. That'd be great. That'd be freaking <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So lone wonder 360 has one entry at PayPal. Thanks buddy. I'm not pushing my limits like Sunday. I will contact you. All right, buddy. <laughs> Bourbon Beginnings, I, I got you, buddy. Mm. So the blend of the Doc Swinsons and the Knob Creek, really good. Fantastic. Really, really good. I will say I don't know if it's better than the Doc Swinsons by itself, but I'm about to find out. <laughs> Ooh, squeaky. Squeaker. You're welcome to pour yourself some some moss of that if you'd like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. So as soon as you pour the Doc Swinsons in the glass, it is much better than the Doc Swinsons that's been sitting for 20 minutes. Um, this is one that, like, as soon as it gets in the glass, definitely knows that. Knows like Boy. K N O W S or N O S E? K N O S E. Okay. Yeah. Go. Oh, Kanase. Right. right. Are you saying, are you saying pan or pam? Panimum. It's kind of like calm. Pamimum. The N is silent. Panimum. It's like damn. <laughs> Lone Wanderer 360 <sighs> says he's not supposed to be uh, drinking for a while, but that's a hell of a flight, and I'm happy to chip in some dough anyway. Awesome. Thanks, Lone Wanderer. Are, yeah. you, are you COVID positive? <sighs> he's, is just that not, what? he's not supposed to be drinking for two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unspecified. No, we're not asking. HIPAA violation. Oh, that's right. We're not asking. But uh, Sounds terrible. But yeah, man. I've, Sounds terrible. But I get it. Been there. Uh, when I got the vid, um, I don't think I had a drink for a month. Yeah, that's it was terrible. That was awful. Well, and, I mean, you couldn't taste anything. Oh, yeah. So that yeah, was true. that was awful. True. And then my Tim Evans has one entry. Thanks, buddy. Nice. When I when I did um, when I did it first have my first drink, it was weird. Yeah, it was just, hot, it was just hot spiciness that I you know hot spicy yikes kind, kind of taste, but not really. Yep. <laughs> Gary Franchi made a donation and said, note can't be empty. <laughs> True. Note can't be empty. You right. You right. Golly. So I will say that the nose. Oh, dang. He got it back in February. The nose on the Doc Swenson's beats the Master Blender blend. Does it? Yeah. It's just so much more je ne sais quoi. Mm. Mm, that sounds good. I'll have Boba that. Bourbon wants to know, did you drink Ardbeg like Trev Wilson? Ardbeg? Yeah, it's a... It's oh, like I know a what Ardbeg is. Hospital but... fire? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hospital fire with burning tires inside of it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, Lone Wanderer 360 had a COVID back in February. Yeah. yeah. Got it before everybody else. Yep. Hopefully you still have the antibodies coursing through your veins. Well, that's what I'm trusting. Yeah, I don't even know how you're doing that. Oh, you're making those two rattle together. No, I thought I that you were. No, I thought it's that you the, were making your Glenn sing. It's the songs of my people. It's the song of my people. 
I like it. I like where your head's at. Oh man. Yeah. So I will I'm say able to trigger on that bottle for sure. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. It's really freaking good. Mm-hmm. So yours is barrel 27. Yep. So that'll be interesting. No, 27 barrels. Oh. In the batch. Release number seven barrels. Oh, 27. Okay. You got, I'm sorry, bottle number 847 of 4,010. So. Yeah. So there's a lot. There's a lot out there, guys, uh, which is good news because it's really, really good whiskey. Yep. So uh, Scary Beeper, my Venmo info is at Hot Buttery Rolls, buddy. Uh, If you're looking for your, your Venmo info. It's uh, at Scary Peeper, and uh, your password is uh, Daddy Bear sixty nine. I'm just kidding. I made that up. <laughs> so uh, Clifford, uh, patient zero, come on, patient zero. So um, I've talked to some people that they they're pretty sure they had it back in November. Or I say people. Uh, one guy he thinks he had it back in November of. It's last my mom. Year. My mom thinks that she got it <laughs> sometime in 2016. She had a really weird fever. <laughs> 2016. No, so this guy, uh, he went and got tested for flu and um, uh, everything else, and everything came back negative. And he said it was terrible. And uh, but they did do uh, the CDC, who whoever it was, took samples of blood from December of 2019. Uh, I think there were three or four thousand samples, and they found 106 of them had the uh, COVID-19 antibodies. Yep. So they, they know for it's a fact. It's been out here way longer than we thought. It's been there for Dece- since December of last year. Yeah. Um, and, yep. you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they've been here before then. Casey says, McLeod for my line. McLeod. Just, just turned in. Just turned in? Just tuned in. Turned go, go, gadget what? reading skills. Mm-hmm. Are we doing scotch? We're not doing scotch, but we have been talking about it a little bit. We can do a recap here. So start of the night. Started the night with Old Fitz, uh, 15 year. Because it was the lowest proof. Yep. And then <laughs> we, we moved up in proof to Old Soul, 15 year. Then we went on to Knob Creek. This is a store pick out of the Dallas area. Uh, Allen, it's 15 years old as well. And fantastic. Yeah, and fantastic. And then, uh, as I like to refer to it, Doc McStuffins, uh, Doc Swinson's, which is also a 15 year. Yep. Since today is uh, the fifteenth day of Hot Buttery Rolls, is Advent, Advent Extravaganza. Yeah. Extravaganza. Yeah. What's up, fellas? You ever try that slow and low, Sean Doyle? I'm guessing you're talking about the slow and low uh, rye wow. or the the pre made. Is it Manhattan's or old fashioned Manhattan's? I don't know. It's but Manhattan's slow and low. I have make just a rye, just a yeah. regular rye, right? Well, then they make the rock and roll, which is the canned oh, okay. pre made cocktails. Mm. Uh, no, I have not. Uh, is it good? Do you enjoy it? What, do you think I should get some? Uh, uh, Lone Wanderer is working at a hospice center uh, where Washington's outbreak started. Six guys on my crew all got it at once. Jeez, man. Well, all right. hey, but I mean, you got it early, right? Yeah, you and, you, early. and you're here. You so, through. dude. You could still have uh, immunities to it. So. You could. I haven't heard of a lot of people getting it twice, although they say you can get it twice. So, well, still but, wear your PPE. Take care of yourself. I know you are, man. There's... Five people in the world. That no, it's more than that. So. No, it's fine. It's fine. I don't know. So uh, don't Stanley Wagner Jr. says, have you tried Lagavulin in 16? I have. It's my favorite scotch. I have a bottle right over there in the – right over there in uh, in my uh, formal formal bar. That's a weird thing to say out loud. Uh, <laughs> but where I keep my scotch. <laughs> How's bragging camp going? It's, it's going pretty good. I'm it's going pretty well. Pretty sure I'm going to get to kiss Teddy. Um no, I, I really enjoy Lagavulin 16. It's of the Islas. It's the least rubber flavored to me. It smells and tastes like uh, like um, if you smoked bacon, but also kind of burned an inner tube. Burned an inner tube, yeah. AJ Lopez, I had something similar happen last year in November that lasted for a week. Uh, before I caught La Rona. La Rona. <laughs> I donated platelets and had no antibodies. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Rock and rye, says Sean Doyle. Okay. Let's try it. May have a different opinion. Too sweet for me. Fair enough. Hmm. Nice. Scary, scary Peeper pepper. did it. One entry for Scary Peeper. Thank you. Just Another that. have you tried very JWR, very fine rare bourbon. Uh, I don't know what JWR is, but no, I have not. Um hmm. 
because I would probably know what it was. Never heard of it. Yeah. Never heard of her. Nobody plays it as a 15-year pick of Knob Creek in the Austin area. Headed there for New Year's. Clifford, mm. I don't, buddy. Uh, I don't know that there's really – there's any 15-year uh, Knob Creek out right now. No. The, the most I've seen in the last year has been 14-year. And the 14-years and the 13-years are both also fantastic. So while you're there, go to every total one you can because they usually have some straggler Knob Creek picks um, kind of mixed in. Ask the beverage manager if they have any. And then also check Oak Liquor Cabinet. Um, go in there and then also check with Debs because Debs will sometimes have a Knob Creek pick. And uh, also Chris's Liquors in Austin. Uh, also, Austin Shaker. I hope you're writing this down. Uh, the Austin Shaker is also really good. And um, there's a liquor store next to Nickel City Bar. And also, go to Nickel City yeah, Bar. Nickel it's City. the shit. Like unbelievable whiskey selection and it's a dive bar like it's not pretentious it's not it's not snooty it's like regular ass people with the best whiskey selection you've ever seen and they got pretty cool hats for sale too hot butter rolls that are tribute to smoke wagon behind you you're on the Aaron train oh you're on the Aaron train big time you should make him a mixtape to show him how you feel i probably should man just like it's just like me just like holding a photo of him and just like I was so excited. Hey, buddy. I was so excited when he replied to me on Instagram. When right? I asked, when I asked him about the rye. God, it makes you feel good, right? Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah. He's just a great dude. Daniel Kerber. Welcome to the chat, buddy. What is going on? My uh, local has a 15-year store pick on the Knob Creek. It tastes great up front, but no finish for a 120 proof. Casey McLeod. That is uh, McLeod. McLeod. That is not the experience we're having right now. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, it's um, real weird. Daniel, just a uh, recap, since you're new, uh, it's fine. We started with Old Fitz, 15-year. Yep. Moved on to Old Soul, 15-year. 15 15-year. 15 uh, went to a Knob Creek store pick. Uh, it is also a 15-year. Guess year. how old? Oh, oh sorry, damn, sorry. I screwed that up. Well, here, you, you can guess on this one. Doc McS McSwinson. Doc Swinson. Mick Swinson. Doc Swinson. Lord. Doc yeah. Swinson. Uh, this one is actually two years old, so that's weird. No, so, 15 years well. James Buchanan says, Woodford Reserve, very fine, rare bourbon, the 2020 Masters Collection. I had the opportunity to get one, and I was completely shocked by the proof. Uh, it, was it was below 100 proof, and it was like a $200 whiskey. Is that that one that has a little 16 on it? it has a number yeah, it's gorgeous. Something or yeah, 16-year-old yeah, nice -year whiskey, beautiful is it bottle. 16 years old? Is that uh, what it is? I thought it was. I don't know. Did I, I just, send you all a picture earlier? I don't think so. I just saw it was recently. I've seen it, and it has 16-something on, yeah. on the bottom. Yeah. But no, um, I'm actually in search of a Woodford Reserve batch proof. If you guys know where to find one of those. Uh, show. Um, Handy and Schiller signature cocktails are decent pre-made. Tim Evans, I agree. The uh, the Handy and Schiller um, Schilder, uh Manhattan is fantastic. I have I have one in there that's almost almost gone because whenever I'm feeling too lazy to make a cocktail, I throw that over some ice and add a Luxardo cherry and boom, done deal. Uh, yeah, Total One always has Knob Creek picks. Maybe not 15 years old. Their 115 yeah. proof rides are good though. Yeah, a lot of times are. you can get some nine year and ten year picks. Knob Creek. Those are not the same, and they're you know. Well, no, I mean the like a store pick, but it's still going to be nine and ten years. Not the one that says nine on it, you know. No, but it's it's still, but it, yeah, yeah, not not going to be the same as this. No, no, for sure. But they're still okay. I mean, yeah. they're good. And also, it's anytime you value. see a Knob Creek Knob Creek store pick rye, pick it up. That's that's good whiskey. Uh, Clifford Cawthorn, I will need to do a replay on those locations. Yeah, buddy, sorry about that. I kind of ripped through them, man. Have you two heard of the Maker's Mark community batch they're doing? Rare selection. Mm -hmm. Check if they have any near you, none near me. Yeah, we don't we don't get a lot of awesome stuff. We still haven't seen the Maker's Mask Cash Strength, Maker's Mark Cask Strength 46, which is one that we would both like to try. Yeah. So uh Daniel Kerber living a life of leisure. At least that's what I tell him myself I'm doing. <laughs> Gary French sounds like he's been forced into a life of leisure. Uh yeah, 16, 16 series. series. Really okay, so it's not a 16-year-old. Yeah, no. Non-age dated. That's sneaky, and I it's, hate that. That's yeah. When they put it, when they put it, it's not a huge 
it's not a huge 16, but I mean, it, it's, it's down it's there. there. It's yeah. right there on the yeah. front oh, of the, the freaking bottle too. and the neck. Yep. So I'm not okay with that. 90.4. Dude, that's the same know. as whatever. Um, that's the same as whatever freaking uh, Kentucky Owl on their newest batch of bourbon puts the 10 huge on the neck and it's not 10 it's years old. 10. It's batch 10. Yeah. But it says 10 huge as shit on the neck. Well, this is very fine, rare bourbon. So, well, I mean, it's very fine and probably relatively rare. However, it ain't 16 years old. It's made with real bits of Panther. So, you know, it's, so, you know, it's good. 60% of the time, it's 40% alcohol. Hot butter roll is 123.6 batch proof. Uh, that sounds right. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. Got to check out giving a stink eye from the missus. Ooh. All right, Tony G. <laughs> Later, homie. Stanley Wagner Jr. says, I can't think of any places to get the Knob Creek 15 store pick, but write down these 37 places. <laughs> Listen, it was about yeah. at the hour and 40 minute mark. It's yeah. fine. Just go back to this video will be there. Yeah. Daniel Kerber yeah. th said, the oldest I have is a 14 year, four months. Will that work? In a pinch. Yeah. I mean, I guess. <laughs> uh, judges? Dude, anywhere. They'll allow it. Anywhere. I have an 11 year pick that's fantastic. So, yeah, dude, you're fine. Mm. Oh, later, Tony. Thanks for coming, man. Appreciate it. Tell yeah. your tell your lovely wife I said thanks for sharing you. Yeah, leave that computer on. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Let let your phone run. Just mute yeah. it. It's fine. It it's fine. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Woodford Barrel Proof in Amarillo. Don't know what year. Hmm. Find out. Actually, it doesn't matter uh, as long as it's a batch proof. Uh, Stanley Wagner Jr. Yeah, I have a batch proof. You want another one? Aaron wants one. Aaron. Uh, the guy from Claws. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Bourbon Bites, what's up? Welcome to the chat. I think this might be the first time I've had... Uh, I might, might be the first time I've had Bourbon Bites in the chat. Okay, so Amy... Sounds delicious. Amy Bohm says, got 15 entries in the giveaway so far. Get in while the getting's good. Shall we go over what's in the giveaway again? Sure. We'll just hold them up. Okay. We'll just hold them up. All right. So you're going to get a one ounce sample of each of these. Oh, oh, God, I'm bad at this. It's like whenever you're trying to make yourself do something in the mirror. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're doing one ounce samples of each of these. So that way you guys can experience what an awesome flight this was. So yeah, we forgot to mention that for the, uh, for the newcomers. Thanks. Yeah, sorry, so. guys. Yeah, $5 donation. My uh, Venmo. Is at the beginning, and my PayPal starts with the word. Oh shit! Can they see this right here? Yeah. I'm, okay. Hopefully they can. There you go. If they can't, it's being put in the chat right now. Yep. Uh, Daniel Kerber put my PayPal in the chat, like a freaking legend. Uh, yeah. Boba Beth Bourbon says heck and bamboozled. Well, I didn't see Maker's Mark RC six till January of this year. Yeah, dude. Um, and the SER SE four PR five whatever the frick, that one's still. Rolling in. So, yeah. $5 per entry. Winner gets the same flight that the boys are drinking. Oh, shit. Why do you keep doing Dude, that? the chat is so hard to roll, guys. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I feel like an idiot. Like, it's when like you, my first day mouse. every day. I'll bring I do a need a mouse. I've, I've got an extra one. I'll bring it over. That'd be great. Yeah. An optical mouse. Yeah. All right. That's good. Uh, I like how the bottom shelf stuff says extra aged, but doesn't say anywhere on it how long it's actually aged. Well, uh, it's, can we it's, talk about benchmark eight? It's ex, eight what? It's aged extra <laughs> from what it normally is. So it's What's, aged for a couple months. They age it for, say, eight months. That's extra. Fair enough. Fair enough. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just it's a little extra. It's a little extra. <laughs> 46 cash rank is stacked up in Paducah, Kentucky. Paducah, Kentucky released two. Will it? Uh, I took a screenshot. Six year rye? Yeah. So a six year rye and a six year bourbon. Yeah. So, um, Casey, if you could go ahead and uh, pick up a couple of those and let us know. Yeah. So uh, they released a, I'm sorry, I was off by quite a bit, a 10 year, a oh. 10 year rye and a six year bourbon. Oh, man. So oh, I don't know how fantastic. close you are to, uh, that store, but, but uh, if you're close, don't worry about going because they're sold out. Bruh, yeah, yeah, it's fine for show. Sure. Mm. I don't know how you should take that. That's who AJ said you look like. He texted me. Okay, no, I get that. I can see it. I can so see it. the back, backwards back hat, yeah. scruffy beard. So 
earlier, AJ I think, Lopez I think you're said I looked like thank you. I look like Luke from Gilmore Girls. Uh, you spit that out too early for too easy for a guy well, that never watched it. Well, sounds made up. Shut up. Uh, actually, you know, it's funny. It's back in the day, people were like, oh, hey, what's up, Dawson? Dawson's Creek. I'm like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I look like James Vanderbeek. I'm like, come on, guy. You actually do look like James <laughs> Vanderbeek. Thank you. I think it's the first back time I've joined live. So, uh, Cheers, guys. Cheers, Bourbon right. Bites. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I'm, if you have been in the chat before, I'm really sorry for not remembering, but I do think this is your first time. So welcome, welcome. Um, glad to wait, have wait, you. Wait, wait, I do wait. watch. I do watch your stuff. Bubble Bath says Bourbon Bites. Hundred percent agree with that new dickle. Do we miss a comment? Do we miss the dickle? Yeah. It was probably from a Bourbon Bites show because I don't oh, okay. think I saw okay. anything about the dick. Yeah. Yeah. Bourbon Bites. That sounds delicious right now. Yeah. Mm. Great channel. I really like Bourbon Bites. Uh, I was surprised. Ha ha. Yeah. It had to have been okay, from a show. Really yeah. Know. Make that 16 because I can't count. Amy, that's a, that's fine. Uh, that's, that's we're, a not, mistake, we're not judging, you know? but definitely. I will I will run through and and I'll get a total and count and we'll see if we match up there at the end for sure. Yeah, Josh is pointing to it and it shows up for us. Awesome, AJ. Good, oh, good. good to know. Thank you. Yeah. Funny story, hot butter rolls. The link actually takes people to my PayPal. <laughs> Daniel Kerber, you so crazy. Hey, if you do get some donations though, let Amy know. Uh, you know, I don't know your situation, dude. You might need the money. Um if you're looking at the chat on StreamYard instead of YouTube, it's super delayed and goofy. Bubble Bath Bourbon, it is and awful and terrible, and I hate it. But if I go to YouTube to watch ourselves, the chat's on time, but the stream is delayed. Mm -hmm. So it's a live by the sword, die by the sword. Uh, it's, it's a nightmare. Uh, Benchmark 8, like old charter, 8 is aged for eight seasons. Or four years. Uh, AJ, I don't know if you know how seasons work, but there's four that of them in a year. That's two, years. two, buddy. Go, go, get your math skills. Shout out to the Midland ISD <laughs> education system. <laughs> awesome. Bourbon Bites just entered the giveaway. Thank you nice. so much. Uh, Bourbon Bites. Also, anybody else that wants to enter, when you do enter the giveaway, tag at Amy Bohm in the chat and tell her how many entries you got in for. So it's $5 entry. If you gave $10, that's two entries. If you gave $100, that's 20 entries. Just saying, just saying. All right. So James Buchanan just stocked up on the very fun and rare, LOL. We'll see how that works out. Story on it is it's a 17-year-old bourbon, but blended with other bourbon and no age given of those it was blended with. Very so fun and rare. that's really cool. And I hope that it does have a lot of 17-year-old bourbon. But the way that the TTB works is if you have 90% 17-year-old bourbon and 10% 4-year-old bourbon, it's a 4-year-old bourbon. And uh, my thoughts are that they probably blended their delicious 17-year-old bourbon with some really young bourbon, and now they can't say how old it is. Uh, Stanley Wagner Jr. says uh, at Hot Butter Rolls, James Vanderbeek on a bender. Damn. Hell yeah. Damn. All right. That's actually, I'll take it. That's pretty accurate. Hey, listen, st there's still those three words in there James Van Der Beek. There you go. There you go. And, and I didn't even go, I didn't even, I didn't go through MISD and I can't math. That's four <laughs> words. Oh, man. I watched it with my mom because she had control of the TV. I did enjoy the show as well. Fair enough. Fair enough. John Dole said, Rip, AJ. Rest in peace. <laughs> That's fun. That's eight fun. summers. Eight summers. Oh, okay. I don't know if you know this, but that's eight years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're not <laughs> divided by two. Divided by two is what I mean. <laughs> okay. So I'm kind of picking up what you're putting down. In Kentucky, the seasons are divided into two. You have two distilling seasons, okay? So this is crucial when it comes to bottled and bond. Uh, bottled and bond whiskey has to be bottled or uh, distilled in the same distilling season. So you have a spring distillation season and a fall distillation season or winter and summer, however you want to say it. So if it's eight Kentucky seasons, that's four years. I can see you saying that. I, I can, yeah, it, it could be. Wikipedia over here. <laughs> what a nerd. Oh my God. <laughs> nerd alert. Oh man. Uh, Ryan Parker got an entry. That's Hell cool. yeah. 
Ryan, awesome. thanks, you, Ryan. Welcome to the chat, buddy. Yeah, did you see what um, did you see what the giveaway was? Maybe you were lurking and just haven't commented. But if you haven't, just let us know. We'll show the bottles again. Yep, for show. Um, yeah, I think the same reason Sean. the nine year disappeared from Kentucky from Knob Creek for a while, but came back. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, snowstorm heading my way tomorrow. Got to pick up some supplies to make sure if I'm shoveling, <laughs> at least I'm not sober. You just take care, <laughs> Sean Doyle. Thank you for being here. See you, buddy. Uh, take care and uh, and be safe in that snowstorm. We don't know what that's like. Um, yeah. Anytime there's two inches on the ground, we wreck all the cars. Yep. So uh, best of luck, man. God bless you. AJ Lopez has been drinking too much of that Balcones. Yeah. He's I'm all up messed tonight. up tonight, man. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> when is, is the drawing thing? for the giveaway? It'll be here in just a minute, buddy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So... Uh, not drunk, messed up, just tired and stupid. Oh, okay. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Same for sure. I'm not drunk. I'm just I'm, I'm just stupid. tired and stupid. Yeah, tired and stupid, <laughs> pretty much. I'm gonna tell so, my wife that. Yeah. What are you grabbing now? Uh, I'm gonna get into this. So Roll this riot. is from one of the liquor stores in Austin that I mentioned earlier. This is from Deb's Liquor. It is a double rye that is finished in a bourbon MGP barrel. Seven plus years, so it's a rye <laughs> oh, finished in a bourbon barrel. MGP um, and MGP bourbon, bourbon barrel. Yeah. So I don't know what that means. It's kind of an interesting choice. I probably have that bottle of whatever MGP bourbon that was in. Yep. Bubble Bath says, "What the hell is snow?" Daniel Kerber says, no "He is in for one entry." Thank you, brother. Nice. Bourbon butts asks, "Where are y'all based?" Lone Wander three hundred and sixty answered for us, Midland, Texas, brother. Mm -hmm. Yep. Guess who's getting a swirly nerd? <laughs> I tell you what, man. If you can lift my big ass, you can put me in the toilet. I'm, I'm gonna be so impressed. I'll let you carry me wherever. You're gonna drop me though. I'll probably break my neck. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, this isn't bad at all. Mm, of course, after all that high proof deliciousness, it's yeah. uh, Two notes of rye. Bourbon and MGP. So sometimes on a young rye, I get notes of hairspray, and I'm getting a little bit of hairspray on the nose. A little Aquanet? A little Aquanet. Come on. That's what I tell the city kitties and cops when I'm walking down a wall with a brown bag. <laughs> <laughs> so Wall Street is uh, the closest we get to having a downtown yeah. uh, in, in the tall city. Mm -hmm. Daniel you Kerber put my PayPal back in the chat. Thank you, brother. Very nice. Appreciate you doing that. And my uh, Venmo is at Hot Buttery Rolls. So um, have you have you been downtown lately? Have you seen the park? I haven't been there since and it the, opened. And the Bush Convention Center and yeah. everything. So it looks to nice. me, it looks to me. Nice. I grew up in uh, Albuquerque, New mm -hmm. Mexico. Uh, well, I didn't grow. I grew up all over the freaking place, but I lived in Albuquerque. And the Albuquerque Zoo had a chimpanzee enclosure. Chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. That's okay. how my that's how my middle son says chimpanzee. <laughs> chimpanzee. They had a chimpanzee. Uh, enclosure and it reminds me so much of the gym enclosure oh, really the way that the the poles are set up yeah like it looks like a liability like That's how are funny. kids not going to fall off that shit and break their arms well i don't know maybe they have a sign. it's a terrible park also sign. our city is probably the top five toughest towns in america as rated by the humans that live here that's <laughs> it's like the the most aggressive tough people that you'll meet i mean it's it's the epitome of an oil field town it's yep. so i mean we're just we're raising our children to uh to walk it off you know they might want to walk it off with a broken femur or <laughs> you know tibia but geez mm. a town the war zone <laughs> yeah man clifford knows what's up clifford is i believe are you located in texas as well buddy i think so uh is he amarillo yeah, 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 Amarillo. Yeah, yeah, you know what's up, man. Yeah. So it's funny. I always tell people I'm. I spent most of my growing up and uh, part of a large part of my adult life in Lubbock, Texas, and people were like, "How far away is Midland from Lubbock?" And I'm like, "Well, 110 miles, hour and 45 minutes, and 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> it is 20 years away from Lubbock." Yeah. Oh my God. Behind. Yeah. Lubbock. Behind. Yeah. yeah. Look, Jeez, Wander, we're still, your, uh, Patreon we're still living in 82, man. Mm -hmm. If coach would have put me yeah. in. A little on state. No <laughs> little on state. I could throw a football over the mountains. You know what's funny is my house was still living in 1982 <laughs> until recently. <laughs> until I, recently. I finally got uh, the two bathrooms done. So. Dude, shout out to your remodel. Yeah. 
that was a hey, it was a great excuse for you to be at the house and drink whiskey yeah, during the day. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad his boss doesn't watch this. <laughs> Weird. Weird. I never, I never hear spray. spray. Okay. Or any other John, John Waters, Waters notes, notes about Young Raz. I don't get that reference. So John Waters, I believe, is the director of Hairspray. Hairspray oh, is a is a, is a musical. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. Recently starring John Travolta as the mother. Gary Franchi sounds like uh, you and AJ Lopez need to get together and watch your musicals and Gilmore Girls. Hell yeah! Hey, don't don't hey. knock musicals, man. And let me know because I'm in. <laughs> We're in. We're in. We're gonna be over there. We'll watch Hairspray together. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, I've never seen that. I've I've seen um I've seen John Travolta couple, in drag but... doing his musical numbers. And uh, yeah, no, it's really nice. It's really nice wow. on the nose. Minty. Yeah. Minty fresh. So it reminds me a lot of uh, that uh, Will It For Your Ride that we had the other night. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Stanley Wagner Jr. says, HBR, AJ is going to be all over you like a spider monkey. I'm going to be all over you like a spider monkey because he hopped up on benchmark eight. I mean, <laughs> four. No, two, damn it. Eight. <laughs> Stanley Wagner Jr. is freaking hilarious. That, that is uh, that's a that's a that comment. A comment that's night. a comment of the night. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna let that show for a minute. The show. <laughs> yep. Mm, All right. Oh, Casey McLeod has uh got five, got on, five on it. I got those. It's kicky. I don't know if you guys listened to gangster rap in the 90s, but that's what it was like. Yeah. It wasn't it was great like at all. It's great. <laughs> There's only room for one cliff in here. I'm Clifton, but I always get called Clifford. Fair enough. Maybe you should go by Ford. Or Tun because his or off. Because his name's Cliff Tun. Oh. Oh, Cliff. I thought he said Cliff Ford. No, he gets called Cliff. Always Ford. get Cliff Ford. I yeah. Mean. That's oh, oh, saying, oh, yeah. okay. Gotcha. You're Sorry. already a winner tonight. The BJ stream. Can't win twice in one night. LOL JK. That's actually, I'll tell you what, oh, I've yeah, seen a lot can. of people with luck that carries through and other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. No, Casey, I'm, I'm glad you entered. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Uh, Bourbon Bites, I follow you. Not in the stalker way. LOL. Oh, my. 100% in the stalker way. Oh, my. I'm in. Is that one going home with you? Oh, man. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, it is. I'm looking forward to that uh, That Ollie's. Oh, yeah. Really good stuff. Mm, mm, oh, mm. snap. All right, Marcus. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Bonus nachos, hermano. Uh, he's, he's Audi, Audi 5,000. All right. Gary French, you had a daughter that majored in theory. So I majored in theory. <laughs> that reminds me of a theater. Theater. So what did theater, I say? Not, you said theory. Did you mean theater? I meant theater. Okay. Well, that's, that's fine. As long as that that's means it's meant. working. Yeah. <laughs> it's working. It's huh, by Jove. I think we've got it. <laughs> no, when I read, I read that though. I thought of, uh, of Jules from, uh, from uh, Pulp Fiction, <laughs> I got a girlfriend that's a vegetarian, which pretty much makes me a vegetarian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> May I have a, a bite of your tasty burger? Mm. Big kahuna burger. <laughs> <laughs> See the actor Jr. Hot buttery rolls once posed in Playgore magazine is my concho. <laughs> I spread my butt cheeks is my concho. <laughs> uh, oh. I can't stay at one table, man. I still have no idea what I want on BJ's. Hey, man, email them. Find out. Probably a cigar. Yeah, cigar or a bourbon flight. or They did a rye flight tonight. That's They did a rye flight to start out the, their uh, their stream. Mm. So, yeah. Um, where was I? Golly, this thing rolls. I know. Hey, don't call me fat. Ton is an awful nickname. Dude, I said F ton. Ton. <laughs> it's not It's not fat. It's done. It's done. Done. Like you're Fun. stunning. <laughs> Cliff, you're stunning. <laughs> oh, man. You want a BJ branded Kenzie glass and assortment of liquid IV, which is awesome for hangovers. Oh, I've heard about that. Stuff. Damn it. Damn. Dang, by the way, Daniel Kerber oh, you know in the chat with the knowledge. You know what we could uh, give away? I've got some of those party patches. Giveaway party patch with some samplers. Is that like, did a, ever, did is I, that like a nose beard? Did I wear that over here? I no, it's like so. a bunch of, it's like a, it's like a what the vitamins? nicotine patch, but it's yeah, it's all vitamins. Straight up vitamins. You put it on, it smells like B twelve. It's That's disgusting. Crazy. <laughs> but I think it worked. I wore it one time. And speaking of Josh hot butter rolls, did you find your donkey? I don't know what that means. I, I think the donkey is going to be this donkey uh, running up there tomorrow. Oh I, yes, I'm the donkey. Yeah, I'm 100 percent the donkey. I'm yeah. I'm doing donkey things tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, but no. Um, 
I did, however, watch my favorite Christmas tradition YouTube video. And don't click over there now <laughs> because obviously we're busy. But uh, Dominic the Italian Christmas donkey. Uh, Dominic the Italian Christmas donkey. <laughs> that sounds like... It's whoop, amazing. That sounds like Afghanistan animation. You know, <laughs> it's Afghanistan like animation, Pop. <laughs> John Chimpo. <laughs> yeah. John, I don't That's know if you guys... Like. You guys follow Broken Lizard? You guys ever seen Super Troopers? Super Troopers? I'm sure yeah. everybody has, so... Yeah. Um, but no, so um, from what I recall, I almost said recall. 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 Uh, someone had said that <laughs> Facebook has a uh, algorithm. Yeah, an algorithm that picks up the word mule yep. and it doesn't, you know, it's not good. So. I think it's bullshit. I, yeah, I do too. Yeah. But that's why I said donkey. I well, do, and I it's not, it's not Facebook. It's the, it's the, the guys in the black box inside your computer. Yeah. That it's the scary peepers. <laughs> the scary peepers. Yeah, I like that. Check out scary peepers, peepers or peeper. peeper. Scarypeeper.com. Scarypeeper.com. Yeah. If y'all, yeah. if y'all haven't yet. Yep. She said, Okie choby. She's okie dokie. Yeah. <laughs> Bourbon bites, Cliff, not done, says, Party patch Damn. sounds illegal. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same, bro. Same. Uh, For show. I wish. Oh my God, guys. We're over two hours. Okay, so uh, it is almost midnight, Ooh, yeah. and everybody knows I turn into a really sexy pumpkin at midnight. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not accurate. I am turning into a. Mm, I've got to be up a in bit six of a hours, nightmare. So. Yeah. So, all right, uh, Amy, do me a favor and tell me what your total is, please. Ben Demon Hunter is in the chat. What's up? Hell yeah. The huh? alphabet boys are always listening. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yep. Okay. Uh huh. What? <laughs> ben Demon Hunter, welcome to the chat, buddy. All right. So, uh, Amy, please tell me what your totals are, and I will total myself and see what I've got. And we can uh, meet in the middle and figure out if, I've, if I'm accurate or what. So, Amy Ames. Can you call her Ames? Uh, <laughs> can says, I call you Ames? It says 21. 21? Well, it Damn says 1 dash 21. Fair enough. Uh, but 21 entries total. All right. So I've got Casey, Mc Casey McLeod for five. McLeod. For, for one, sorry. Daniel Kerber for one. Uh, Cliff Bourbon Bites for two. Why not? Cheers. Four. I love it. Um, and then Ryan Parker for one. Noah for one. And then I've got Morgan for one, Tim for one, Gary for two, Tony for 10, and Stanley Wagner Jr. for one. That's 21. And that's 21. Boom. We live. We live, baby. Okay. Fair enough. Amy, thank you so much. I appreciate you doing that. Um, and what I'm going to do, because I'm going to be honest, I don't care for the way that Siri refuses to include one or 21, whenever you tell her to say a number between, uh, I am going to go to actually Josh is going to go to, um, I've, I've got the random random.com. Random I've got random.org app on the phone. So do it, okay. do it, baby. All right. All right. Let's so see. one through 21, we're going to do. Dice roller, card shuffler, lotto quick pick. I don't, it doesn't list, make much difference randomizer. to me as long as it's fair. As long as it's fair, guys. Okay. <laughs> Daniel Kerber put the link for Dominic the Italian Christmas Donkey in the chat. Thank you for doing that right now. Kind of wish you'd waited till the end, but it's whatever. I'll tell you what, guys, it takes two minutes and 30 seconds. So if you disappear for two minutes and 30 seconds, check back in to see if you won. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Chat drops to zero. All right, guys, we're going. Uh, I'm going to try and do this. I haven't. Uh, I don't know that I've done this from uh, the phone before, so that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's going great here. Okay. Okay. One. Oh no. This is weird on the phone. It is weird on the phone. It's fine. It's going to take two and a half minutes. Yeah. So y'all talk to amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, uh, that explains it. Only saw it maybe twice about 12 years ago. I love comedies, but that branch of comedy, R-rated 2000s, raunchy, 
isn't my cup of tea. Fair enough, buddy. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say, though, R-rated 2000s raunchy comedy is three quarters of my personality. <laughs> so, Same. dude, I'm just glad we get along. Ben Ben is a great dude, and uh, and we get along great. McLeod, Casey says, <laughs> mailed it. All right. So Amy randomized the list a few times, too. Perfect. Good. Okay. That's great. All right. Oh, she, uh, she already Yeah, she's already it? randomized. Oh. But you're almost there. You're almost there. Okay, well, well. Yeah. That's fine. It's fine. Hmm. Dad, come it. <clears throat> 40 old version was funny. I agree. I agree. For sure. Okay. Uh, we've got... Dang it. Did you just randomize it? No. Okay. Not yet. Um, Sorry, guys. We're uh, this, well, this technical is, difficulties this because is, technically this, we're idiots. No, it's, <laughs> it's just a just a stupid thing on the. Phone. Amy says I just need a random number yeah. one to twenty one. Okay. Uh, we're gonna say fifteen because today's the fifteenth day of my advent calendar, yeah. and we drank four Amy's whiskeys that are fifteen years old, and. Uh, we're doing samples of those. So we're going to go 15. The old virgin was hilarious. Super Troops actually had a story unlike The Hangover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I think that the, the Hangover had a pretty fantastic and terrible story. I don't know if you know this, but tigers love pepper. They hate cinnamon. <laughs> if you don't learn anything else. Yeah. From the hangover. It's the Tigers hate cinnamon. <laughs> Stanley Wagner Jr. All right. He had the comment of the night and he gets the samples of the night. Guys, thank y'all so much for participating in that. Um I'm I'm uh humbled by uh by the support. I need to do more giveaways. Um you know what? I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna do a second sample pack and it's gonna be the Doc Swinsons and the Knob Creek. And we're gonna say uh, we're gonna say 21. 21 for the second sample pack. It's it's a half sample pack. It's not the whole batch, but it's a really amazing 15 year pick. And it's the mm. Doc McStuffins 15 as well. So uh, let's go ahead and do a second second one because I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling like I was loved on for sure. Gary Franchi, 15, a decidedly non random number. Sounds like something a loser would say. Hashtag, I'm just kidding. I'm hashtag kidding. rigged, <laughs> apparently. No, I mean, it's... So it was definitely <laughs> randomized multiple times by Amy, and I just chose that. So yeah. there we go. When, Tony when G, texting. he's not even in the chat. <laughs> That's fine, though, because I know how to find Tony G. Clifford Cawthon is out. Just want to say... Ah, oh, Cliff. See you, buddy. Dude, Clifford. Cliff. Cliff. Ford. Clifford. Cliff Ford. Ford. Ford Cawthon. Ford. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Till manana, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, right, yeah, number two is lucky Tony bastard Stanley. Do tigers also hate Mike Tyson? They love him. He treats them really. Oh no, well. yeah, they love Mike Tyson. Yeah. He owned a tiger. Yep, for sure. Yeah, congrats, Tony G. He's asleep, guys, or he's, more accurately, he's probably with his wife hanging out in Florida. If you're still in the chat, jump in because you won, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you don't claim it in five minutes, it goes to the next person, right? <laughs> Isn't that how this works? Isn't that how that works? Yeah. That's how the pinkies raffle works. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> you don't use it, you lose it. Jeez. R.I.P. Tim. Clifford. Check PM, HBR. All right, buddy. We'll do. Oh, I did. I saw your message, bud. Thank you very much. I will get back to you. Yeah. I saw that a minute ago when I was looking for other stuff. But yeah. <clears throat> uh, Stanley Wagner Jr. I think I do have your address, buddy. Yeah. I know exactly where to send that, so... Uh, yeah, congratulations to the winners, guys. And, uh, you know, this has been a great night. Appreciate y'all being here. Uh, it is now midnight on the nose. And I think that that's a good time to shut her down. So cheers, everybody. Thanks for being here. Amy, thank you so much for running that. And, guys. uh, guys, we'll see y'all real soon. Yep. Love everybody. Cheers.